good. I might We're all so tense. Using a seesaw to help with that balance. I, I, I like that, that that my stupid duck horn was the thing that just made Monty go, oh yeah, I should level Zito to fucking mute. <laughs> <laughs> hey everyone, Mine welcome is... back to the Unexpectables. Yeah. yeah. What's up? How's it going, everybody? The tension We're... is high and the points don't matter. <laughs> well, they really do, though. It's really, really true. Do. Especially the one, the, the the points of the hit variety. Yeah. <laughs> we need all of those. We need all of those. Yeah, oh, exactly. Jesus. Okay. All right. Let's get going. We got a lot yeah. to go through and not go a lot of time to horn. do it. Uh, uh, guys, Connor, you Google, what? Connor, really fast. Do you have a fan going in the background? No. Okay, there is a buzzing coming from you. It sounds like a fan in the background. I don't know what that is. All the fans Might are in the chat. Might be my AC, but I can't really, I can't really turn that okay. off from where I'm at. Okay, no worries. Uh, sorry. Very sorry. Uh, guys and Goomba, where can they find you? I'm at twitch.tv slash Gaijin Goomba. This weekend, we are playing the 3.0 patch of Monster Hunter. There is a lot of big nasties coming uh, and Ooh. more for me to analyze. Uh, let's see here. I just got a new video out a couple days back on the main channel talking about the uh, Japanese yokai origins of Dimitrescu. So go check that out. It's going to be a lot of fun. Biomutant is also fun. Please go play it. I streamed it. It was good. Uh, I think that's all I got for now. Excellent. Zito, where can they find you? What are you up to? Over at twitch.tv slash Zito, I also was playing Biomutant for eight hours. I think I like this game. And, you know, <laughs> am I, am I, I might just be biased. I might just be one of those uh, those YouTube celebrities that you, tell people, hmm, do you like it or do you not? You know, I like it, but you, you can form your like own opinion. You would like a game called Biomutant. You would <laughs> like a game called Biomutant. Of course I would. A game with roguelike <laughs> shit made by the Just Cause people? It sounds like a good time. Also, Aloysius' Guide to Social Acceptance. It's actually nearing its completion i hope to have it out at least by middle at the latest middle of next month where you get a 60 to 64 i i can't remember anymore i forget the number but 60 to 64 playable races and a bunch of subclasses and a lot of player options that are it's kind of stupid that aren't there like Knowles. why why the fuck aren't Knowles playable i'm fixing that neat mm-hmm all right, Mark Allen Jr., where can they find you? You can find me on twitter.com slash Jr. here on Twitch at Aeon Pro Tech Gaming, and you can follow the adventures of my fat sleepy cat bunny on Instagram at chonk for life uh, I've gotten a mostly clean bill of health from the hand specialist, which means I can start streaming again yeah. soon. Uh, so tomorrow we're probably going to have a really chill day. We might start Final Fantasy X um, just for funsies uh, and see how that goes. Um, yeah, that's about it. For me. Excellent. Edward Bosco, where can they find you? Google me. Okay. <laughs> Tiger Hunter 101, where can they find you? Google me after Ed. Oh, okay. I see. <laughs> no, I guess I'm streaming this week. Uh, I, I'm, I'm playing uh, It Takes Two with Taka and Haru. We're going back to play that game with the moose. That's right, everybody. And Excellent. then tomorrow, I, I have somebody showing, swinging by the bar called Crimbo. Crimbo. What an excellent name, I approve. Crimbo. No, 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 I don't think you understand. Crimbo, cr Crimbo, Crimbo ain't your average VTuber. Crimbo oh, got the- Crimbo the cr Crimbo, Crimbo got the worm lips. Oh. You know exactly what I'm talking about. So anyways, Crimbo swinging by the bar tomorrow. See how that goes. Nice. Excellent. Uh, Monty Glue. Where can I find you? Can you can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter. You can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. I finished my head. I have a face now. Also, I'm streaming tomorrow. We're starting Majora's Mask. And then Sunday, I'm going to be playing more Resident Evil 8 with Bosco. Heck, Bosco. He smells like eggs. That was a fun stream, can I say. Bosco, can you confirm or deny this? I have no recollection of these events. Ah, of course. Perfect. You're listening to your lawyer very well. I'm glad. <laughs> then he, he won't remember what happened at the end of the stream with my headphones. Epidge Farms remembers. Indeed. Oh, uh, oh, oh, also, I have new emotes. I have new emotes on my channel, including Bosco. I have an angry Bosco emote as well. Oh, wow. Hey. Yeah. Uh, we're at 20, 91% of a hype train. That's... Oh my god. Oof. Train is hype. 
2,092 percent finished. Oh, 21. It's four years whole worth of work. Uh, and I'm missing anybody. Die hard you, dice yourself. Uh, yourself. Yeah, and that's me. Dice. Uh, yeah, they can find me on Twitter, Twitch, and youtubecom slash distortion double I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Playing tabletop simulator Yakuza Three. Uh, I'm DMing Gateway this Saturday. Twitch.tv slash Um And also, I'll be guesting on D6DR, YouTube.com slash D6DR. Uh, Going to be doing another boss battle over there. <laughs> um, uh, be sure to check out Dead House Sonata. Here's the link in the chat. Be sure to check out my DM Guild. Here's the link in that chat. Uh, be sure to look out for the Augmented uh, Artificer. If you want to be Adam Jensen with crazy shoulder-mounted missile launchers, this is the subclass for you. Uh, other than that, this this episode is brought to you by Die Hard Dice. Ah, yeah. oh, there we go. Now we can hear it. You were prepared this time. You were prepared this time. Yeah, I was so I was literally like, my hands were hovering over top of the dice tray and I was like <laughs> I always I, I love how you always have to have this nice big grunt before you get into it. Of course. Dice, uh, has carried us through uh many a battle and the, hopefully they'll carry us through this one uh with their wide selection of both polymer and metal dice, dice accessories, dice towers, dice uh carrying cases and folding trays all lovingly handcrafted and handmade by our wonderful friends over at Die Hard Dice and our very own Cobalt Ranger is uh, Hunter's marking down the prices. Uh, and if you use the code TASK at checkout, you can get 10% off your order at dieharddice.com. Uh, Even with, that, with my action feats, I can't roll away from deals like this. Even with sure. advantage. What about Squirmy? What about Squirmy? All right. <laughs> it's the <laughs> worst fucking thing. Something, something sharpshooter. Anyway, Remember, something, something. Folks, never a die easy with die hard dice. Exactly. Uh, with that out of the way, it's time to read some bits and oh. subs. Um, let me just click open the window here. Here we go. <clears throat> a cat named Garbage. Thank you for the twenty-five thousand bits. The main character of the popular Netflix anime Beast Stars stepped on a Lego figurine of Dennis Dyack. Would it be Legoshi in pain? Uh, oh, wow. I, uh, I, took, I wow. took psychic damage from that one, but yeah. thank you so much for the 25,000 bits. <laughs> Holy cow. Thank you so much, a cat named Garbage. Timitar, thank you for the uh, 13 months of Prime subage. Hellrith, thank you for the 14 months of prime of uh, regular subage. Fantastic Callum, thank you for the uh, 245 bits on my phone tonight. Excited for this arc? It's been one of my favorites. The One Free Man, thank you for the 12 months. More d and I need more! Okay. Uh, Topher Spark, thank you for the 13 months. Missed my one year anniversary last month, but here I am now. Have fun and hashtag let Greckles fly. Oh, that'd be fun. Art. Rexasar7, thank you for the 200 bits. How do you all feel about a community-made recap? Hmm. Mm -hmm. We'll have to think about that one. Uh, Drago soon, thank you for the 2,000... Uh, 2,250 bits. Forgot how to count there. Uh, here's some bits from my favorite D&D &D group. And hey, Remy. Griffin9989, thank you for the five months. Erwin Elf, thank you for the 10 months. Replica Rabbits, thank you for the three months of Prime Subage. Cobalt Lucario, thank you for the six months. 20 BMG, thank you for the seven months. Thunder King 8, thank you for the 14 months. Dork and Shield 11, thank you for the 10 bits. Scam Man 93, thank you for the 12 months. Karate Kid inspired episode title. Do the crane, Oni Boy. Uh, Blackfoot Ferret, thank you for the leap bits. Let's do this. 95 Derpy Wolves, thank you for the 420 bits. For good luck and good vibes. Flustered Bun, thank you for the 200 bits. Just food for thought. Galarian Farfetched reminds me of Remy. Yeah. Hmm. I see good. That. Yes, good. Chaotic Ranger, thank you for the uh, 400 bits. I'm so excited for this episode, but I'm two time zones uh, ahead, and I have my 30-week parental checkup early, uh, a prenatal checkup early, 
Uh, so in order to not torture myself too much and leaving partway, I'm just stopping by to say hi, and I'll catch you in the VODs. May my bits appease the Roll20 gods, and may you all kick the Oni's ass. Yeah. Revengerist, thank you for the 10 months of Prime Subage. Hello, almost a year since I started watching live. I was able to catch up during the lockdown, so at least one good thing came out of 2020. Jack DeCrow, thank you for the 500 bits. Go get them! Zandwin, thank you for the year. Good luck on tonight's rolls, everybody. Uh, I can't believe it's already been a year and I've been watching since YouTube recommended the first episode way back when you guys all first started uploading. Renfield88, thank you for the 10 gifted subs to the community. Agent Sly, thank you for the 400 bits. I feel so dumb. I just realized the ma Aspect's masks take the form of their user. Ith has horns like Panic, and Aos has is draconic like Task. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Motherfucker doesn't look like me. What are you talking about? He's short. He's too short. Yeah. Please, please, please speak for yourself. Uh, Infinite Kitty, thank you for the 50 gifted subs to the community. Oh my goodness gracious <laughs> sakes alive. Thank you so much, Infinite Kitty. Much like your, uh, much like, much like you, your kindness is infinite. Son J, thank you for gifting a tier one sub to Dark Ronin Twenty One. Cater Pillar, thank you for the ten months. Ed Seven Six Five Super, thank you for the five hundred bits. Sending some bits on behalf of Antfish and Joe. Hey. <clears throat> Ninety Five Derby Wolves, thank you for gifting two subs to the community. Ed Seven Six Five Super, thank you for the five hundred bits. Dead House Joe Mama. Hmm. Good. Tent House. Uh, oh, 10,000 Armored Bees. Thank you for the 14 months. Riku 9619. Thank you for the 14 months. Ed765 Super. Thank you for the uh, 10 bits. A two-parter to the house. Not a joke. I hope it all goes well. Blue Kios 445. Thank you for the 1,000 bits. 20 BMG. Thank you for the 1,100 bits. It was cool hearing you guys in the lounge. And whatever happens, this has been my opinion. In my opinion, your best arc. Uh, Mr. Usagi, thank you for the 500 bits. First time live in a while, and I'm curious, if Seika got stuck in the dog zone, what breed would he be? I think we oh, decided wow. on that. Yeah. You know, it's a Tibetan fox. Oh. Yeah. Uh oh. Ooh. Indeed. You could have had so much meme potential, but you yeah, fucking yeah, squandered it. Just, <laughs> just look up the, the Tibetan EU. fox, you'll understand. <laughs> Seiryu Vox, thank you for the 500 bits. Uh, best of luck tonight. I'll have to catch you guys in the VOD. And and you mean there's something other than an angry Bosco? He's keeping me nice. Yeah. I mean, until he starts playing Halo. I was there. Uh-oh. <laughs> Bag of Holding, thank you for the four, uh, the 14 months. Kick some Oni ass tonight, guys. Vibe and Astronaut, thank you for the 69 bits. Sprinkle time, thank you for the leech bits. Hey guys, still trying to catch up and currently on episode 124, but I wanted to show you guys some love. You keep me sane during my long work days. Sword Fanatic, thank you for the 1000 bits. Best week for boss fights and my favorite DD streams. I wonder what will happen next. Tillor 1985, thank you for the 12 months. Roan One Flu, thank you for the 12 months. Time for a death battle! Dr. Onats, thank you for the two months of prime subage. Gnome's Rule. Eh, you're okay, I guess. Gaben's Prophet, thank you for the sub. Irish Katana, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Coming soon, the spiritual successor to the Legacy of Grain series, Whole Wheat Frittata. My God. The, gobl the Goblin Review, thank you for the 14 months. An Anonymous Chair, thank you for the 1,500 bits. Aloha Bingo, thank you for the 100 bits. Hey everyone, good luck if you end up fighting the Oni Boy tonight. If I had to guess what he might look like, I would say a big fiery tiger man. Ooh, a Rakshasa, huh? Rakshasa, oof. Uh, impact frame, think of the, for the oh no, we're fighting 100 Incineroar. Bits. I knew Monty was too much of a Pokemon uh, man. <laughs> Incineroar? Please, this is a Decidueye house. Oh shit. I don't know what you just said, but I don't know. That, that's a good house. I like that is house. a good house. It is a good house. It's a great house. Not as good as there. Dead House Sonata, though. Oh, shit. Uh, that's my house. Uh, Zenlita, thank you for the uh, 1,000 bits. Think fast! Ah! Uh, impact frame, thank you for the 100 bits. Present those dice with gusto. Athens 619, thank you for the 200 bits. I don't know why Bosco kept going back to Chicago. Dresden's antics are enough for any sane person with wars in the White Council. I'm surprised it's still standing. I understood those references. What are you talking about? Mm -hmm. Go okay. away. 
the the series of of uh, young adult fantasy novels called the Dresden Files. Uh, oh fuck you! Uh, oh, I'm very I'm very well aware of those. Excellent, very cultured people know. You about couldn't those. make a Shadowrun reference? Jesus, get out of here. Seattle. Blue May. Well, that's in Seattle. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, but Blue Chicago Mage is in that setting. Yeah. Have Blue Mage X, thank you for the 500 bits. Stand up, be strong. No right, no wrong. Let's go, Grickles. Let's go, team. Uh, Antelarius, thank you for the seven months of prime subage. Yay! James Rochelle, thank you for the sub gifted to the community. The Talbs, thank you for the 14 months at tier two. Combat Stone, thank you for the three months. Akinoris, thank you for the 500 bits. Just had to quit my job at a senior home due to becoming sick from being overworked to the bone. Super sad to leave them all behind. So here's some bits to say thanks for keeping us all cheery through the hard times. Oh, Sorry to hear that, Akinoris. I hope you feel better soon. Yeah, yeah. Hey, it's One Uppington. Thank you for the uh, tier two sub for five months. Just saying hi before heading off to the VOD. Smack that Oni boy. Magic Ninja Go, thank you for the 100 bits. Hello, I made it before the session started. Got done with my uh, oral presentation in Japanese class today. All that's left Woo. is finals. Uh, but let's hope the session goes great and prayers to everyone else dealing with finals. Indeed, stay hard, people. Protoss1033 for the 85 bits. Time to go kill the last Oni. May Nick and Todd strike your enemies down. Infinite we'll Scratch, see. thank you for the 100 bits. You've humiliated three out of four Oni <laughs> in some way. Time to go for four. Irish Katana, thank you for the 200 bits. A recap would be cool. Hmm. Mst. I may or may not have said something similar in the past. Hmm. Humdrum Gum, thank you for the 14 months of Prime subage. Uh, we are truly ready to live in a post Greco's backstory unknown world after tonight. <laughs> 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 Nothing will, consequences will never be the same. Uh, Christopher Zurin, thank you for the five months of Prime Savage. Afro Blademaster, thank you for the 500 bits. Hell yeah, let's beat up the fire burp. Sword Fanatic, thank you for the three months of Prime Savage. Is bits or subs better? I don't get Twitch. Uh, just do whatever you feel like, man. I appreciate gets, it either if you, way. If you, if you subscribe, you get emotes. If you give bits, um, we You'll get You give to us get future Austin. glass so we can continue to live. Yeah, and it's also true. Austin gets to get a hamster wheel and like other things to keep we, him out of the blood him, basement. We gave him his kale. I don't know what the fuck else he wants. I know he's too needy. Jesus, Christ. government unlocks our access to sustenance gruel. <laughs> uh, Nonlinear Steve, thank you for the ten thousand bits. Oh, yeah. getting the deluxe sustenance gruel now. I love uh, that name too. <laughs> <laughs> sustenance gruel. Non Nonlinear Steve. Uh. You guys kept me going when I wanted to quit my crappy job. Through patience, the crappy job has turned into an awesome job. Cool. Thank you all so, so much. Yeah. That's awesome to hear, nonlinear Steve. You love it. You love to see it happen. So you had a, a nonlinear uh, route to your job there. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Zach Odu, thank you for the 10,000 bits as well. I super needed the show after the quote unquote day I've had. Let the oh. potatoes roll. Potatoes? I feel I you with the potatoes, Zach. Don't you worry, boy. I got you. Oh, uh, my Irish hurts so fucking Does it much. Hurt? Does it hurt Zito? Same Good. Though. I'm no, happy. No, I hope Zito, he's suffer. Zito, I take psychic damage every time he does it. Mm. What about the potatoes? This, no. This is, this is the one. Uh, thing faith and Begora. Well, see, it's not racist divide. when I do it. I'm Irish. Yeah, ditto. This is this is painful. Look, man, if y'all are going to do your fucking the pain Mario monkey, impressions, you for the 510 I don't give a shit anymore. <laughs> Challenge the Oni to a rap battle. Let's uh, see if he can spit you, fire like he controls it. You have four minutes, so you might have to go a bit faster here. Uh, we are okay, almost at the top of the We're list We're almost here. done? Okay, awesome. Uh, yep. Coop894, thank you for the 12 months. Portal Jumper 339, thank you for the 500 bits. I just woke up after sleeping all day. Let's kick some Oni ass. Been loving this arc and I can't wait to see the conclusion. Entity Walker, thank you for the 100 bits. Gavin's Prophet, thank you for you for the 100 bits. I've been loving hearing you guys, hearing that you guys love TF2. As a result, I will offer up to uh, a prayer to Lord Gaben for random crits. <laughs> oh may, they, may they cleanse the evil that threatens the fire plane. <laughs> Oh, Lord Gaben, Gaben may uh, you count to three. I, count he to he three. just descends from the clouds. I hope it was worth the wait. Uh, Saint Jimmy, thank you for the 1,469 bits. Man, y'all remember when we made the Prince Division puns? Pepperidge Farm remembers. 
Deadeye2400, thank you for the sub. Magic Ninja Go, thank you for the 100 bits. Also was able to help my Japanese class de-stress by streaming Yakuza 0 in the Discord server on Monday. Ooh. Cool. Random person uh, for one two two thief for the twelve months of prime subage. One year, y'all are great. Hopefully, nobody dies. Flustered bun, thank you for the five bits. Greckles is great. <coughs> Ryle Grimrick, thank you for the fourteen months. Uh, Robert's nephew, thank you for the three hundred bits. Just found out someone in my family has been diagnosed with terminal cancer. Sorry to bring down Ooh. the mood, uh, but hug your loved ones while you can. Uh, sorry to hear that, Robert's nephew. Thank you so much for the three hundred bits. R2 Fever, thank you for the 200 bits. Uh, Splitar, thank you for the 200. Uh, thank you for the, wait, no. Thank you for the eight months. You, the 241 was the numbers at the end of your name. Jordan Xfinity, thank you for the 500 bits. Uh, Calhoun 327, thank you for the 14 months. Defective Sheep, thank you for getting five subs to the community. Bangalang 00, thank you for the five bits. Brutus Maximus, thank you for the 14 months. Zenlita, thank you for the 500 bits. Uh, Marco Sias, thank you for the 855 bits. Jazar, thank you for the 500 bits. Tactical Unicycle, thank you for the 250 bits. Deadeye2400, thank you for the 100 bits. The Nargakuga Tamer, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Uh, Messenger of Chaos, thank you for the 10,000 bits. <laughs> Let's all meet up after the fight to fillet a chick. Uh... Sword Fanatic, thank you for the 400 bits. Actually, it's actually Chicka Phil. I see. I'm going to kill you. Master Ryu, 2005, try. thank you for the eight months of Prime subage. No bits, just subs. Delicious subs. Blackfoot Fairy, thank you for the 240 bits. Pepperidge Farmer members, because Baskin Robin always finds out. Uh, and Jinian, thank you for the uh, 1,000 bits. Just got finished with my culinary school's final project, a five-layer cake and binging the Greckles arc the entire time. Thanks for being Oof. there and being awesome. Woo! L oh, little do I you want... know that the cake actually takes the shape of Greckles' head now. And <laughs> just slowly, you, you just now just slowly changed. <laughs> also, oh, someone, someone, someone's saying I skipped their message that had a good Dead House Sonata pun. Well, that's an oxymoron because there are no good Dead House Sonata puns. Oh, Ow. Ooh. Oofer. It was a right. vaccine pun. It was low-hanging fruit. Big out, you gotta. Something, something for Tata. I've heard it before. I just saw someone ask what happened. Whatever. I wonder what happened to Doros's pet fish. He still has Willow Jr. He still has it. It's just, you know. Willow in there. Jr. <laughs> it's around. All right. Hi, chat. Boom. See you, chat. Just luck. Chat's not real. When last we left our heroes, Greckles, the Kenku Rogue, Tass, the Cobalt Ranger, Panic, the Tiefling Bard, Remy, the Kenku Fighter, Borky, the Orc Barbarian, and a newfound friend, Inseka, the Fire Ganassi Monk, the party, after reaching the desolate, the, the, the desolate elemental plane of fire, discovered the sacred phoenix corrupted and the plane completely subjugated. The party then snuck their way to the Acolytes of the Phoenix Temple for allies. Greckles met with his, his father, who wasn't his ha his father, but a Kenku warrior known as Ryusei, donning the aspect of Kai, a porcelain mask. Ryusei confessed that he was best friends with Greckles' father, Hirosan. After stories and catching up, the party took time to make a plan to breach the wall of Taimatsu's tower and make their way to take on the Fire Oni of subjugation and the newly corrupted Phoenix. So, a group of about 20 monks comes to the ground floor and surrounds you all. Seika, you know each and every one of these people, each fire ganasi, each a warrior of the Acolytes of a Phoenix, trained to a relative sense of perfection. From the youngest warriors to the oldest ones, some even stronger than potentially than you. They all don their most elaborate gear, something you have not seen in your entire life. And they stand at the ready as the rest of you sharpen your weapons, share your potions, fix your armor, and take a deep breath of the battle that lies ahead. Turning the, turning the corner comes Ruse. 
donning his blade and steps forward to all of you. So, how are we all feeling? I'm ready for this. It's a bit warm. At the ready. Nods towards you, Task. Looks towards you, Panic. <clears throat> Are you down? Want to go. Looks towards you, Remy. Remy's just gonna stand stoically with a hand on his weapon. Turns towards you, Seika. I am ready. Your job is not done, Seika san. I still want you to protect Greckles. I want you to see this done. You have my word. All right, all of you to the top. And he points towards the top of the tower. Now, Get you guys moving. begin the long trudge up to the peak of the Phoenix Tower. A great deal of soldiers follow behind you, each armed with darts and weapons. Some are kind of saying a silent mantra prayer to themselves hoping for a successful battle ahead. If you'd like to speak to each other, now is the time. How are you feeling, Seika? I'm ready to take back my home. And I'm ready to help you do it. And finally end this madness. I promise I will not be as reckless as I was before. That's good, because we're going to need all the wits we can get. Besides being reckless, it's my thing. This is true, and it's gotten out of us out of many poor situations. Yeah, more than it's gotten us into, so it's a net positive. <sighs> As like kind of like looks off at the distance and smiles a little bit. Well, in some weird way, I look over at Greckles and I like, I go, and no offense, you know the history of it all. This might be cathartic for me. Yeah, I, 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 I could see that. Just because I lost my, my uh, irrational fear of birds doesn't mean it won't be fun taking one down. Now you got a rational fear of birds. Forky says thinking that that's a good thing. You hear a voice uh, in your like mind, shrugs. Borky. You hear a voice in your mind, Borky. A voice you haven't heard in a while. You hear Gripples go, They should be afraid. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ah, that's good. The voices are back. I was worried. I will I will double check on um the mask of Kai. Yeah, you have it and you look at it. Hold me close into your chest. I'll be there with you. Do your best. Understood. Man, I'm never gonna get over that rhyming scheme. Oh, you think you have it bad. No, that's fair. <laughs> All right. Don't, don't listen to him. Don't mind the bard. When you've been doing it your entire existence, it's not that hard. This is making Greckles very, very smiley. Probably when he shouldn't, but still, good good spirit lifting. We gotta find some silver lining somewhere, bro. <laughs> uh, he just narrows his eyes. Smugly spouting suffering succotash. I'm so happy you don't have a weird little thing. Is Look at my quiet. arm. Why is Kurt coming in quiet? Hold on. Not a little thing. Kurt, did you change your gain? No. Can you bump bump your gain? Uh, that good there? Yeah. A little okay. bit more. A little bit more. Uh, there. All right. Yeah, you sound fine. I don't know why anyone's complaining. Uh, okay. Don't let yourself get one guide. Yeah. Let's let's turn up your volume, right. chat. Yeah. All right. Anything else you guys would like to say as you're what, making your way up? I'm ready to kill something. Let's go. All right. As you guys reach the top, you see that there is a ladder, a vertical ladder that leads directly up onto the roof. And you see currently one of the monks is just helping everybody up to the top of the roof. As you get up to the top, there's like 20 monks up there and you guys are the last to join them. Uh, you see, trying to grab the name. 
Ms. Chio, I believe was her name, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. That's right. Yeah. Chio she Asabi. turns to you and goes, Sekasan. And she turns out and looks towards, you see these this foreboding tower of stone and the various torches of hobgoblin soldiers far in the distance. And she turns to you and goes, let us be your shield to get you to where you need to go. And she points. Taimatsu resides at the top of that tower. We'll hold off the hobgoblin so you can get up there, but you must hurry. Once we're in, we will move as quickly as we can. This group is very capable. I pray to see you on the other side. Uh, Connor, you're very staticky and your mic's just going off with buzzing God. noises. God. Sorry. Damn it. But luckily, we're going to get through uh, it. <clears throat> sorry, I not to get distracted. I apologize. Mm. Um, what did you Could you repeat what you said? I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, he said that uh, the group was very capable. We'll move as quickly as we can. He hopes to see them on the other side. I hope to see you as well. But if we do not meet again, and she turns towards all of the monks now, and each of them are kind of like, you know, hyping themselves up, kind of rolling the shoulders and getting ready. She turns back to you and goes, Tell stories of us. Always. Okay. And she kind of, they, you watch as all the monks like kneel down, like onto one knee and like put their, both their hands on either sound onto the ground. Uh, I'd like everybody in the party to roll perception checks for me. Yahoo. Boy. Doki. Yeah. <clears throat> 11. 15. 16. 6. 20. Soft. God. All right. All of you see this. Oh, T. Except for Panic, because Panic's, I don't know. Uh, panic on panic uh, actually, uh, he he pulled out the Orb of Sending, and he's just looking at it like he's thinking about doing something. The rest of you guys look down to the base of the tower that you're currently on, and you watch as walking out the front entrance comes Ruse. And you watch as he steps out back facing the rest of you and then turns with a huge sweep of his foot, grabs the hilt of his sword and you can feel the air just get cooler all of a sudden. Like the temperature drops like three or four degrees out of nowhere. And you watch as he takes the sword and in a single flash, unsheaths it and does a wide swing with it as it points to the other side. And all of you hear a and you feel the ground under you begin to lean. Oh! And you hear as Chio goes, hold on, and like grips down onto the tiling on the top of the floor as the entire tower now begins to fold. And she turns and goes, you have to jump at the last most point as the entire thing like begins to fall. The sensation, you feel your stomach just absolutely flip in your chest as the entire oh, thing leans. It's like going to the drop point of a roller coaster as this happens. Oh, and as you uh, look back, uh, as you look back, Rekko, you see as you say, she's their sword and gives you a nod, like now is your time. Rekko's and as the, go ahead. I was gonna say, he's gonna raise just a mighty fist in the air. And just like Ryusei looks at his own arm and then raises it in the same way. And as the tower begins to fall, the giant shadow beginning to fill the space, I need everyone to make dexterity saving throws for me. Uh, yeah. Let's go! With advantage oh, as well. Okay, there we okay, go. 18. Good. Ooh! Uh, 18! Let's go, nat 20, baby! It lands uh, it. <laughs> soft 20 for me. That's a, that's a double six. <laughs> okay, hold on. Can I catch Remy? No, Remy still holds on, me. holding his sword. Don't touch me! <laughs> first. <laughs> Oh, Your geez. filthy fire hands off me. Oh, right. oh, hey. Whoa. That's our word? Oh, sorry. Keep your filthy, warm hands off of me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Hot button issue. All right, so, <laughs> Panic. 
As yep. you watch as the tower is about to collide with the ground, you jump off at the same time as all of the monks, like all the monks at the exact same time jump forward. And you were like, shit, time to go. And you jump as well. You three point land onto the ground. Task, you do a front flip over and land with your tail sweeping through the ashes as immediately in front of all of you is a hobgoblin militia armed to the teeth with halberds and other swords. Remy, as you're about to fall, Seika grabs you and readjusts you as you land on your knees. And Seika, you do a front flip twirl and land on the ground at a three-point landing. Borky, you slam with both legs onto the ground and shoulder up and unsheath your sword. You guys have now made it into the inner sanctum of Taimatsu. I guess you begin to he You begin to hear blaring war calls through horns. And immediately the monks turn and go, go, we'll break you through. And immediately combat just bursts out. I need everybody to roll initiative for a chase sequence. Oh, all right. Oh, fun. Yeah. Oh. Greckles, don't worry. You just showed up there. Like, I was about to say, I, Gre Greckles just appears. <laughs> 21. I get two. Top 20. Go! 8, 10. 18. 8, 10. So. 5. All right. Costco, come on, man. I'm getting out of my system now. Listen. I'm I'm unkillable. It's fine. I'm cool going last. He's, no, he's man. Dirty. No, that's a red flag. <laughs> no, it's not a red flag. We'll speak upon my return. No. Oh no. But your but, but your wife wants to talk to you about something really important. It's he okay. I'm a few days from retirement. Right Relax. Oh. Ah! <laughs> we need to quick have a flashback to like an important moment early on in Remy's young life. Yeah. Well, I know. You don't know, because you'll tell your friends, because you'll be back, no problem. Right. <laughs> all right. All Task, as you land on the ground, immediately battle breaks out, and you watch as the monks begin to, like, just, like, stomach kick back the hobgoblins, making a path down the road towards the tower that you see off in the far distance. What do you do? Well, as we're running, uh, I'd like to at least, like, take a shot at one that's, ha like, take a shot at a hobgoblin that's, like, giving at least one person I could see a hard time as we're running by. Absolutely, go ahead and make a shot. You only get one for this sequence. That's fine. 25 nice. both ways. That, that absolutely hits. I want to apply sharpshooter to it. Oh shit, okay, so minus yeah, 10. Thank you, Zeno! Yep, so uh, that's you have to, You're supposed to do that to, before You have shot. to call that out before hand, the shot, you're still gonna yeah. Hit. You're fine. Yeah, so uh, next time you'll have to call that out beforehand. Fair but enough, for now, my bad. Just do it. Yeah. When seldom have I used this. I, I'm telling you, bro. So eight plus 10. So One, 18. 18. One second. Guys, Zito and I had a conversation during Halo Night. <laughs> yeah, you sure no, did. No, it was during the signing. Hold on, I gotta find. I was like, hey, I got this gloom. Look, look here's the problem. I gave up on this ability oh, so yeah. long ago because I wasn't hitting anything, but now I'm like, what I'm why? Just, I mean, you now watch, you're like As not, as not, one of the as one of the hobgoblins is like has got like the, the the shaft of the halberd like kind of choking out one of the monks, you just run by and just do a headshot and the hobgoblin flies back and the Fire Ganassi gives you a thumbs up and goes, Harigato! and then turns back and starts punching another hobgoblin as you continue forward towards the tower. Let's bail, go, go, go. Greckles, as you front tumble land onto the ground and follow behind your companions and you begin to chase after task, what do you do? Uh, I will follow in suit. As long as there's nothing impeding our path forward, I'd love to take some pot shots at anything that's uh, currently engaging any of these monks and overpowering them. Okay, absolutely. You notice there are some archers perched on the roof that are taking pot shots and are striking at the monks from behind. How far away are they? They're within attack range for you. Excellent. Uh, you know what? Todd hadn't let me down yet, so let's do it. <clears throat> 23. That hits. Go ahead and roll damage. Seven. Apply a sneak attack. Oh boy. All right. They're not, fo they're not focusing on you, so. Key op. Uh, oh, another damn. 19, so 26 points of damage. As his hobgoblin pulls another arrow and is aiming a shot towards, uh, oh god, Cho Choyi, what? Oh god, Chio. what's her name? Chio, Chio-san, oh my god. Her name was written down somewhere and I can't find it. That's okay. Uh, they're aiming a shot and you notice it, you just take, you take Todd, you just whip Todd and it strike him right in the neck and he falls backwards and immediately Todd reappears in your hand as you continue running. Uh, I would also like to do, you know what, no, screw that. I'm gonna use my bonus action to dash. 
Okay, you dash ahead of Task, heading towards the tower. Panic, it is now your turn. Uh, okay, so is there like a, is there like a clear like line between uh, the monks and the hobgoblins? Like, is, is this like a full on, like two armies clashing one side versus another? It's kind of like um, the monks, it's like a front clash, but the, the way the monks are positioning themselves is to peel back the hobgoblins and like put them up against either side of the street so you guys can run past essentially is what the situation is. Okay. So if I were to launch fairy fire, like behind the hobgoblin lines, would I, how could I angle that where I would catch the hobgoblins, but not the monks? You probably couldn't because this is a very tight space, unfortunately. So Son of a nutcracker. Uh, okay. Well, that completely fucked up that plan. Yeah, because uh, the monks are ahead of you. They're the ones kind of taking on the bulk of the army to get you guys through, essentially. <laughs> Fuck. Could I just... What is a fast animal here? No, oh, do I want to keep those? Shit. Well, that... Fuck it. The, mo the monks can make dexterity saving throws. I'm going to try and angle the fairy fire where it will catch more hobgoblins than the monks. Okay, I'll go for that. That, that works fine. Hopefully they've got okay. evasion, because... <laughs> uh, they succeed. That was really good, actually. They rolled a natural 19 plus their bonuses, so... So the monks succeed? Yeah. Uh, okay. I just did it, and I'm going to roll for the hobgoblins now. I'm just rolling it as a bulk thing, just because this is a unique situation. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, the hobgoblins also succeed as well. Actually, do they? Well, Hold on. Dexterity. Uh, no, they don't. That's a 14. That actually fails. Oh, boy. Nope. Failure. DC 17. So they're all fairy fired. It's as they get fairy fired, advantage. they look oh. at themselves, and immediately the monks just start going nuts on these guys and just punching in all the, the, you know, the right pressure points and spots. God, what happened? I don't know, Jim. And as you continue running panic, you catch up to task. Yeah, yeah. All right, then it's your turn, panic? Yep. All right, Seika, it is now your turn. Um, While moving forward to catch up with anybody or with everybody, um, would I be able to intercept any incoming bolts uh, and fling them back at a shooter? Absolutely, I'll go ahead and do that for you. Uh, that is going to be a plus uh it's gonna be actually a soft 20 to hit okay well i am uh that's definitely going to hit me so i'm going to spend the key point to do, do where the frick is it do, 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 do. somebody expanded all of my crap deflect missiles there it is ah da, 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 da. reduced by 1d10 plus dex plus okay. monk level so uh, total amount of damage is going to be seven uh, my monk level is 10, so it's automatically reduced below zero. I don't need to even roll. Yeah, you don't have to roll. See so you immediately as this arrow flies out, you catch it. And um, it does not hit you. Ranged attack to throw it back. All right, go ahead and roll the hit. I guess it's just this, it's the same as this, right? The 18. 18, that just hits. Woo! These guys are fully armored, so they're very scary. <laughs> Um, Go ahead and so roll I damage. Believe, uh, uh, what's the damage? It's a 1d8 plus your dexterity modifier or strength modifier of your choice. Oh, jeez. Uh, that's oh, 11 my. damage. Dead. Instantly dead. You catch the arrow and immediately, like, force palm it back and just absolutely behead this guy as he falls off the roof and collapses. You hear uh, one of the monks go, Good work, Seika san! And he just goes and, like, punches another hobgoblin. It is just the sound of clashing armor, punching, the sound of screams and shouts as you guys continue to run. Can Bork... Oh, no, never mind. Is it Seika? Seika, is your turn over? Yeah, that would be it. All right, Borky, it is now your turn. Borky just... How far away are we from the guys? Are we in the middle? We're in the thick of it? Yeah, they're on left or right of you, and they're about within 20 feet. Oh, man, can I? Can I hit four of them at once with one swing? Bong! <laughs> That requires a specific ability that's a fighter ability, so no, unfortunately. Ah! Uh, yeah. Okay, can I, can I just slash a couple while I'm going through? Sure, 
sure. Yeah, go ahead and make one attack. You can only make one attack per turn when you're doing the chase sequence because you're focusing on running. Is essentially. Uh, no worries. No this. worries. No worries. Uh, okay, go ahead and roll the hit. Oh, absolutely. Bork would be more than happy to. Mm. Eh. Nice. Twenty. Go ahead and roll damage. No, no, no. Obviously, no rage damage. No raging. Ten. Okay. As you guys are running, Borky goes. You know, you, you start screaming and you run in with like a baseball swing, and there's a monk fighting a hobgoblin. And like the hobgoblin looks terrified, and the monk's like, "Oh, I know what to do here." The monk ducks as you just baseball swing and decapitate the hobgoblin and keep running. Borky once again reminds himself that without their heads, they're powerless. Yep. All right, oh, you catch actually... up with Task. Mm -hmm. Remy, it is now your turn. Uh, Remy's going to use his full turn to run. All right, as you use your full turn to run, you catch up with Greckles. Sweet. All right, so I'm going to roll and see how the monks are doing against the hobgoblins. Because you guys helped in very, very helpful ways, I'm going to give the monks advantage. So, Yay. Monks rolled a 16. And the hobgoblins... Ooh, okay, they're neck and neck. Oof. So, because the hobgoblins rolled higher, as you guys are running, a group of six hobgoblins rounds the corner and brandishes weapons towards you. Uh, Greckles and Remy. Six of them are going to take attacks on you. Oh, God. oh boy. Uh, that is going to be a 14 to hit you, Greckles. That will miss. Second attack is going to be a nine to hit you, Greckles. That will miss. Oh, God. That was outside of the thing. Third attack is going to be a, <laughs> a five to hit you, Greckles. That will miss. Dodge, dodge, dodge. And the other three immediately charge you, Remy. First attack uh, is a natural 20. Okay, you know what? So that is going to be... Uh, for six points of slashing damage to you. Ah, <laughs> you tickle. Second attack, uh, that is going to be a 11, which is going to miss. And third attack is going to be another nine, which is also going to miss. All right, Task, it is now your turn. As you see, these six hobgoblin warriors appear in front of your party. Son of a bitch, hit him. All right. Let's go. I just want to attack and get the fuck oh, out of oh, 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 oh. Natural 20. Go ahead and roll damage. Nine plus three, so... 12. Yeah, 12. Because of the natural 20, uh, Greckles, as you're accosted by these three hobgoblins, you watch as a single arrow goes through the brain of one hobgoblin and launches to the other one, and both their heads, like, smash together. As the arrow goes through two heads and both of the corpses fall to the ground. Double Beautiful kill. Task. Double. But I'm not done yet. 26. That hits. Go ahead and roll damage. Nine. Nine. You strike the other one in the chest and he's still standing. That's turn. I guess I move. All right. You move up next to Greckles and Remy. All right. Mm -hmm. Greckles, it is now your, your turn. You have one hobgoblin with an arrow in his chest still accosting you. Um, if I could do an ability that could produce a 15-foot cone of effect, could I hit that and the, the other ones assailing uh, Remy as well? You could hit that one and two of the other ones, but you'd miss the one that's immediately to the left of Remy, I would say. Okay, so I'm going to do this. I haven't done this ever, and this may come back to bite me. Greckles will put uh, his uh, one singular talent to to his beak and uh, shout out Mitsubushi and then blow as I cast Color Spray. No. Oh, so okay. Low. Hell yeah. Okay. So I need to roll 60, 10, and that's the amount of hit die I can uh, affect uh, for creatures. So, yeah. So there's five yeah. and yeah. one. So 26. That's going to be because uh, he has three left. and then... It targets the lowest first. Lowest first, yeah. So the dude I That's, hit with the arrow. That is one over what you need. All three of them so are they, affected. So they are now, let's see here. Blinded. Blinded. So attacks have disadvantage, I guess? Attacks have disadvantage, yeah. And I think, I, I believe, advantage on them as well. Yep. Cool. Oh, I'm glad I finally got to do that. Go, Ninja, oh, go. is so useful. Oh, yeah. All right, so... um. I'm going to offhand stab uh, the one that is directly in front of me. All right. So let's see here. 
push the arrow in deeper. I wish. And you have advantage, so you can get sneak attack here. <laughs> 14. <laughs> Does not hit, unfortunately. As you do it, and then you hear that, ah, ah, you go to swing, and they bring down the halberd and stop your weapon. Uh, I will parry that and continue moving forward. I do have mobile, so they cannot get attacks of opportunity on me. That is true. You move forward, and at this point, you can see the entryway to the tower. Okay. All right, guys, finish them off. Let's go. Panic, it is now your turn. Uh, hmm. You know, they're they're all blind. What yeah. if we just... They can't see us. So what if we just run past them? They can still what hear I... you. Do I want to shatter them? No. <laughs> What's like the cheapest spell? They have like no health. What's the cheapest spell you have? Uh, the cheapest spell I have would be another fairy fire. Uh, what about cantrips? What about cantrips? You have no damage in cantrips? Who is, who's, who's the who's the weakest of the two? The, uh, the, the one that has an arrow in its chest from Tass. It's like bleeding right now. He'll just he'll just yell at that guy. What was the purpose? You got shot, and now your head's about to explode literally gained nothing from this. Uh, that's gonna be a 10, so that's a failure. Okay. He takes... Thank you. Wow. Yeah, that's gone. Psychic damage. Gone. He, yeah, the head explodes. It just... <laughs> leaving two blind hobgoblins remaining. Can just Pencil. wipe some brain matter off his cheek? See? <laughs> With that guy gone, you now have an ample amount of space to actually avoid the other hobgoblins if you want to make your way around to avoid opportunity attacks as okay, well. Yeah, I'm gonna gonna just make my way around them, and then I'm going to, as a bonus action, use the use of my Bark Inspiration to activate Mantle of Inspiration. Yeah. All right. Uh, that is gonna be Borky, uh, Remy, Seika, Cass and Greckles. So everybody. It's gonna be everybody. Everyone's got that inspo sesh. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Great inspo sesh. Uh, you can use your reactions to move, and you get 11 temporary hit points. Woo, yep, away I go. Yep, we're going. Are you moving past All the right. goblins? Yeah, they can't hit you, so you're fine. They can't hit you now. Okay. Mm -hmm. I will move also. So, as you guys are running... That's not what I wanted. Hold on. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. I want everyone to make perception checks for me. Here I go. Here we go. Uh, 14. 14. 22. 15. 15. Natural one. And me Get too. Now, folks. My cool moments are 13. done now. All right, Seika, as you're focusing behind you and you see the last glimpses of your allies, the rest of you... Uh, Remy, you do not. The rest of you hear in the far off distance a horrible, baleful bird call that echoes over the rooftops at a far distance. Oh. You would all know this to be the Phoenix, and the Fallen Tower has certainly gotten its attention. As you guys enter inside of the tower, continuing with the turn order, Seika, it is now your turn. Uh, I mean, if we're past the hobgoblins, I'm just moving. Okay. You begin, you enter inside of the temple and you see a set of stairs to the right of you and you begin to run up. Yep. All right. You begin to run up the stairs. Borky, it is now your turn. You are also inside of this tower. I'm going to run up the stairs too. All right. You run up next to Seika. Remy, it is now your turn. Double move. All right. You double move and you also catch up to the rest on the, on the staircase. That brings us to... Top of the turn order. I need Seika, Borky, and Remy to make me dexterity saving throws, please. Oh shit. Oh mm. boy. Nice. Good man. Five. Uh Borky with advantage, because this is your danger sense, I would say is gonna go off. Next oh, nice. 20. oh boy. All right. Bosco and uh, Remy, once again being aided by his allies with the natural 20. You guys watch as you hear this horrible crashing noise. All the lanterns that are free hanging from the rooftops decoratively shake and shudder as you hear a crashing noise and you see the talons of the phoenix breach through the, the stone and try and reach out to grab you and miss as flames erupt from the claws oh. 
and it <laughs> stretches stone out, and you hear a baleful call as it begins to fly again. That ends the Phoenix's turn. Task, it is now your turn as you are now also inside of this tower and you see a giant hole now in the side where Remy, Borky, and Seika are standing. Can I shoot it while I run? Uh, you cannot see it inside of the tower, unfortunately. Beans, all right, double move. All right, go ahead. You run and you catch up to your allies. That brings us to Greckles. It is now your turn. Oh boy. Um... I'm going to use my move action to uh, move my 40 feet, and I'm going okay. to use I'm going to use my action for the dodge action. All right, go ahead and make the dodge action. Sounds good. All right, that brings us to panic. It is now your turn. Oh, jeez. <laughs> hmm. How how many of the hobgoblins would? Sorry, would you say I hit with my fairy fire back there? Uh, probably I'd say about five. Five? Yeah. Okay. Well, that battle probably went by quickly then. Uh, I'm going to... Oh, uh, Jesus. Uh -oh. Everyone good? It's yeah. fine. It's just my porcelain note-taking machine. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, dear. So we... we is, the, the phoenix is still there, correct? The phoenix flew away after it tried to grab your allies with whatever gotcha. it was trying to do. You don't know what it was doing because no one failed. So all you know is a giant claw just burst through the wall and tried to grab your allies. That's all you know. I will cast Detect Magic. Okay. You cast Detect Magic and you detect no magic in this space. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's a 30-foot radius, but I will just keep it up in case any magical stuff comes up okay. that we need to take care of, and that will be my... Oh, you know what? I probably could have done that. Never mind. Uh, yeah. Detect magic. Okay. Gonna... Yeah. All right, Seika, it is now your turn. You are... You, you hit your breath as you almost get slashed with those talons. Um... Are we all relatively together? You are, yeah. I'm assuming okay. you guys are all kind of sticking as close as you can together. Right. Yeah, okay. Cool. Then uh, I'm just going to move and also take the dodge action. Okay, you begin to run up the stairs more, hearing the creaking of the footsteps and the far-off baleful cries mm -hmm. of the once glorious phoenix in the distance. That brings us to Borky. It is now your turn. I'm just going to keep on pursuing uh, with, yeah, all right, you guys proceed up the stairs. You guys go about, yeah. probably up about, I'm going to say two flights of stairs, so like two stories, as you guys continue up. Remy, it is now your turn. Uh, double move. All right, you double move and you head up. You hear another baleful screech. I need everyone inside of the tower to make a strength saving throw for me. Oh, oh good. I'm, I'm better at these. I get that with what? advantage. Yeah. Seven. Uh, you're, not, you're not raging, so no, you do not. Five. Not with danger sense. No, that's a dexterity not... only thing. Ah, yeah, that's okay, dex no worries, only. No worries. No worries. Twenty-two. Nice. Oh, oh right. boy. Uh, nine. All right. As you guys are running, you hear a sudden crash up above you and another baleful shriek, and you watch as a bunch of blocks of stone begin to fall down upon you. Those who failed, which is Panic, Greckles, and it looks like it was just Panic and Greckles. You're going to take some bludgeoning damage here. Would would my hell dodge at, or would my hell dodge action do anything here? Uh, does dodge give you advantage on any saving throws, or is it just dex saving? No, throws? but it gives disadvantage to hit him. Yeah, it it's the it's the dodge action. Yeah. Unfortunately, this is a terrain thing, mm -hmm. so. Okay. Uh, Panic and Greckles, you take 10 points of bludgeoning damage as stone crashes down onto you and you get pinned onto the ground. You guys are currently uh, trapped underneath blocks of stone. Oh, there goes my temp HP. Ow. I knew I should have done that other thing. I'm going to make a concentration check. I succeed. Yeah, you're fine. Ah! So, 
Panic and Greckles are now pinned to the ground by stone. They cannot move. Brings us to the top of the turn order. Task, it is now your turn. Uh, who's closer to me? Uh, closer to you would be Panic. All right, I'm going to help him out. Okay, go ahead and roll an athletics check for me. Oh, you grab me. the stone and uh, try to push it, but it's just too heavy. That is your action. Is there anything else you'd like to do on your turn with your bonus or your movement? Uh, I don't. I don't want to move away from folks, so I'm. I'll move half just so in case panic needs assistance, I can get back in there. All right, you move halfway up the stairs. Greckles, it is now your turn. You are pinned underneath the stone. Um, would I be able to get my crowbar out and try and pry this damn thing off me? Um, I would say, considering the way that it's fallen on you, it's like your your lower half. Um, mm -hmm. you know what? Because you never use it, sure. You okay. pull out the crowbar. Go ahead and make an athletics check with advantage. There we go. Hey, okay, 14? 14, you put it underneath and you... You get out, but your crowbar just snaps. But uh, your leg is free. Well, I'm gonna have to buy another one of those. Uh, that, I assume, is going to take my entire action. That takes your entire action, because you're prone as well, so you have to use yep. your movement to get back to up get as back well. Up. Yep. Yeah. All right. All right, Seika, it is now your turn. You see Panic crushed under a rock, but Greckle's got himself free. I will move to assist Panic. All right, you're going to give Panic assistance? Yep. All right. Uh, oh, sorry. I got Panic. I got Seika and Panic confused, so... Uh, oh, it yeah, go ahead. Turn? It was supposed to be Panic's turn, yeah. But you go ahead. Make an athletics check. My boy! 15. 15. You grab the rock and begin to lift in panic. You manage to squeeze out from underneath the rock and rejoin your companions. Uh, panic, oh. it is now your turn. Mm. Fuck. Um. God, I really just... I don't want to waste this already, but there is environmental shit happening. I already cast Detect Magic. I don't know why I did that. Fuck it. Fuck it. That's when I said fuck it, Your Honor. Uh, I'm going to cast Polymorph on myself. Okay. Uh, and Panic is going to transform into a giant ape. Uh, okay. Except, except he is a, a he is a G's Golden Langer. Okay. If you can Google what that looks like, you can do that on your own time. Okay. Uh, and the two little tufts of black hair uh, are actually replaced with horns. He just looks around. <laughs> and I will I will uh, run ahead of the group, actually. Okay. If, I, gonna... if I can. Well, it's a cash yeah. movement to, be, to get up. So what's the movement of a giant ape? Giant ape movement is 40? forty foot climb speed. And I will be on the wall. Okay. You begin to Donkey Kong using the ropes of the lanterns and the pillars in the center of the tower. You begin to kind of like Donkey Kong climb up. The rest of you guys just look up as you watch this happens. All right, that's Panic's turn. Borky, it is now your turn. Uh, is, so Panic doesn't need any help then. Yeah, they got freed. So everyone's open, and no one else needs any help. Seems everyone's pretty good. Okay, then Borky is just going to follow Seika. All right, Remy, it is now your turn. Double move. Okay, you double move up the tower. As you're running up, I would like whoever's at the topmost part, which I think is going to be at this point, Panic as a giant ape. Use a, Do a perception check with your giant ape stats, please. Monkey brain. <gasps> what did your monkey eyes see? <gasps> Fuck. Eight. <laughs> Nothing. All right, but as you guys can continue... perception of 14. I don't use passive perception in this game. Sorry. As you guys run up the stairs and continue on upwards, you can see the top, the top of the tower. And again, you hear another shrieking wail. Task, Greckles, and uh, Panic, you're too far away. But Task, Greckles, and Seika, I need you guys to roll dexterity saving throws for me. I'm better at those. Me too. 25. Ooh. Uh, 12. Ooh, God damn 12. it. All right. Greckles and, and Seika, both of you roll a d20 for me just to determine the tie here. Excellent. Three. 
All Eight. right, Reckles. I cannot roll. I cannot roll well tonight. Same fam. <laughs> Get him out now. I'll be dead. Oh, you are so fucking lucky, dude. Okay. The, a 14 doesn't hit you. That's a natural no. one from the Phoenix. Oh. Ooh. I'm going to roll severity. It okay. It's just, it's just a miss. Yeah. It's a god, essentially equivalent in, in this land. So it's very strong. As the beak bursts through the wall and the entire front part, you know the dragon in Skyrim in that first part when you go up the tower <laughs> and like breathes fire? The entire front of the wall bursts inwards and you see the beak and the eye of the phoenix and it goes to snap towards you. And as it does, it just bites down onto a piece of rock and, ah! and then riches its head back out and you see it take off and fly out of sight. <sighs> You are so very lucky. Think of yeah, that scene yeah, and yeah. Your macho man, Randy Savage. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, Task. It is now your turn. You can. You can see the peak in sight. Run up the fucker. All right, you run up and you make your way to a door that seems to lead out to the top of the tower. Greckles, it is now your turn. You oh, oh, catch your breath. Get the fuck out! I will I will uh, dash my 80 feet to catch up, hopefully, to this door. All right, you get up to this door. Panic, it is now your turn. You're a monkey. Uh, if, if I will also make my way to the door. All right, you climb up and you kind of are like hanging by a hanging lantern by the door. Seika, it is now your turn. Uh, I move to door. Okay, you run up to the door. That brings us to Borky. It is now your turn. Alrighty. Uh, can Borky try and rip open the door? All right, Borky, you go. Go ahead and roll an athletics check for me. Alrighty. Borky in the heat of the moment. Just go. Fuck you, door. Come on, big guy. Yeah. 21. You, you hear a breaking of metal as the door flings open forward. The rest of you guys kind of backing away. And outside, you can see the skylight and the phoenix circling at a far off distance, ready to come back into a swooping motion. And you see it now, talons extended, heading towards the base of the tower. Remy, it is now your turn. Time to double move. You catch up with the rest of the party. And with that, the chase sequence comes to an end as you hear another raucous earthquake beneath you. And you see the bottom floor erupt into fire, the front entrance where you entered. Stones collapse, meaning no exit now that you've made it to the peak of the tower. You guys run outside where you see a figure with their back turned standing. I'm just going to move some stuff around here. Give me a hot second. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. All of our seconds are hot. We're in the plane of fire. I know. But I'm Tish. So. As you guys head up to the top of the tower, <sighs> panting, grunting, ooking, and, and being a monkey and other such things. Some of you already dusted are before reaching the peak of the tower. You see a tall, 12, I'd say probably 10 to 12 foot tall figure with their back turned, looking out at the carnage that is now persisting beneath the tower. You can hear the far off cries and screams and yells as the monks and the hobgoblins are fighting in the distance. You see the, the subtle amber light of torches on the ground, twisting and bending in the combat. And you see a dark robed figure. Well, you certainly know how to make an entrance, don't you? And here I was wondering why Grandmaster Kai was cloistering himself in his beloved temple. And here I thought I had him afraid. Where are my manners? And you watch as this figure turns around and reveals himself to you. Oh, oh shit. Oh, okay, Jack. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, Jack, I see you. Oh my god. Whoa. Monty, what are we seeing? Man. Forky you doesn't see know if you can clap. 
the fire oni wearing i don't actually know what this outfit is it's a set of armor that comes down into sort of a robed sort of form his face is you would think him a tiefling at first his face is filled with long horns and he has multiple eyes four in total with an open maw of teeth with blue fire that echoes out almost like an additional set of fangs. There's a mantle around his neck of sort of the spindling, almost, almost obsidian-like texture, a webbing that erupts into fire. And around him, almost like a ribbon or a scarf, are these constant wisps of fire that flicker and bend in the wind. Around his waist is a pelt. Um, panic, even though you're an ape, Go ahead for me and make an intelligence check, like a general intelligence check. Monkey brain. <laughs> Monkey. Monkey. <clears throat> Seven. Use your intelligence, not the monkey's intelligence. Um. Eleven. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Seven. He's an, he's I'm an, an animal, animal, ladies. It's over 10, I'll give it to you. That around his waist is a garistro pelt. Which is a type of, of, of uh, fiend. He turns and looks towards you, Greckles, and goes, You must be Toby Kage. About time we finally meet, Taimatsu. I'm glad we've met. I am happy to meet you. He kind of paces and walks towards you. Not menacingly, like actually calm. Roll an insight check on him, oh Greckles. Boy. Oh, this Ganondorf-esque motherfucker. Whoa. God damn it. You, why is he acting this way? This is kind of weird. You expected him to be violent and immediately attack you and he approaches you and seems amicable. And as he stands there, you watch as the phoenix rises up behind him, just kind of hovering in place as he doesn't even seem to notice. He turns towards, he goes, yes, you and I, well, perhaps it's more one-sided. I feel as though we are long lost friends. Toby Kage. Comparing yourself to me, I didn't have to get help to get free. <laughs> That's precisely why I must thank you. Have you not thought about it? The one with the 16 omniscient eyes was the one to release us, and he said it was some recompense against you. So, thank you, Toby Kage. We wouldn't be here without you. And he smiles, a genuine smile. Your mind games won't work on me, Taimatsu. You can't, plan you can't pin this blame on me. Who says I'm pleading blame? I think you're just wasting your potential. I genuinely do. What have these people done for you, hmm? They've mocked you. Nothing more. Abandoned you. Threw you away. And he kind of leans forward to you. But we know better, don't we? I immediately step back. You know nothing. These it doesn't matter anyway. Your excuses fall on my deaf ears. We're friends, true, but acquaintances, I suppose, would be more accurate. Still, I feel just so thankful towards you for allowing us this opportunity to reclaim what is ours. Though that one, and he turns towards you, Seika, would deny it so. Have you not seen how these lands have descended into chaos? How hard it is to wretch the leashes back into the proper control? Do you think that this beast, and he turns and holds his hand back to the phoenix, is a proper ruler for such a land? It is I'm like leaving the house. It is like leaving the house and leaving the dog in charge. This land was a great land once, and I will return it to where it was. Through the subjugation and torment of its people? Are you through even thinking about it? Through organization and hierarchy through death and blood our land is bl death and blood you know death and blood but perhaps your time for death and blood has come to its end toby kage and yours I... is just beginning oh no 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 i have a gift for you 
and he reaches into a side pouch. Connor, can you mute your mic real fast? Jesus. He reaches into his side pouch and you hear a f- as he pulls out a decorative sword. Go ahead and roll a wisdom check for me, Greckles. Just raw wisdom? Raw wisdom, because you're trying to remember something. 18. Okay. Good roll. I gotta check something real fast. Good roll. Mm-hmm. You got this. What, what was the total you. number? 18. You're killing it, guys. You recognize this blade. Mm. It belonged to Tomegi, one of the Tengu, one of your friends. And he tosses it to your feet, and a kang 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 lands in front of you. What did you do to him? Him and Yukiko got married. It must have been a lovely affair. But again, I wanted to give you a gift. You watch, you feel something hit your shoulder as one of the fortune teller cards lands next to you, the fallen warrior. Oh boy. For a moment. And he turns to yeah. you and goes, there's no one there for her now. That was always what you wanted, wasn't it? <sighs> you should have heard her screams when I drove my blade through his chest. So here's my gift to you. And he again reaches into another pouch and pulls out a white feather, a white peacock feather. You return to the Eastern Isles, to everything you deserve. And you ignore this place. It's never done anything for you, has it? I know what you are, Greckles. You're like me. We take what we want. And that is my greatest sin. And I'm going to reconcile that this day, Taimatsu. He looks down to the ground and you watch as the feather burns and disappears as he grips his hand. <sighs> Such a friendly gift, too. And you watch as he leaps back and lands on top of the phoenix. The time for conversation is over. The time for subjugation is now. And I need everyone to roll initiative for me. Let's Ooh. fucking go. Fuck him up. Hey, and that 20. Yo, <laughs> I'll take 22. another five. I'm consistent. I'll take five. Uh, it's a soft 20. Uh, it's a 14. Six on die. Monkey initiative. Monkey initiative. <laughs> okay. Um, adjust glasses. Roll to ooh. Actually, roll, it's roll to ooh and maybe ah. Roll to ook. Hey, that's a good ook. That's, a big, that's not bad. That's Let me know if the music oak. needs to be bumped as well if it's too quiet. I, I need to. Uh, you need to sing. I want to. I want to be like you. We need to judge you based on that song. Are we in basically the same initiative order? Ah, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, we'll see. I think Borky jumped first. to the front. But I think. Otherwise, I think, yeah. the, the, I think the song needs bumped a little. I mean, I did roll a five again, so I'm gonna be in the same spot. I'll check chat. The bump is people in chat are saying to bump it. Okay, I will bump it up. Yeah. Again, art work by that art jack. Oh, it's Freaking so good. Amazing, well done, Jack. Mm -hmm. All right, so Greckles is up first with a natural 20. Then we have Task. Then we have Borky. Then we have... Uh, we're missing... Oh, no, the Remy's there. Where's Panic? Uh, he rolled a 16 18. on die. No, right, uh, 18, your monkey. 18, 18. You rolled an 18, so it's Panic. <laughs> And then we have Seika. <laughs> All right. And then we have. Rajang music intensifies. And then we have. Uh, Remy. So, here's the good news The Phoenix does not have layer actions. Hooray. Ooh. Here's the Which bad news Taimatsu does. does. No. Taimatsu, no. because they're the same creature, they also succumb to the same weaknesses but have strengths in other areas, meaning certain mechanical things that just the Oni have are traded out for something else. Just for balancing. So, he's gonna have to roll. That is going to be... That's gonna put them after that. Alright. So, let me show you guys your battle map. Oh, oh yeah, good. let's go. Here we go. The top of the tower of the elemental plane of fire. 
He's oh, good. Man. The space behind you, the wooden part, is it's made out of the same obsidian wood that you see around. Uh, you cannot enter that space, but you can use it for cover. So for hiding and whatnot, that is why it is there. Cool. So you cannot occupy that space. You can go on top of it, though, if you want to make a climbing check. So, so wait, we can use it as cover, cover, but we can't go underneath it? You cannot go underneath it. It is it is a it basically goes back into the tower, which is currently on fire at the bottom. I of see, it, but it's like an overhead, there. so there's like five feet of room that we can go underneath it. Uh I wouldn't say no, just for the sake of ease. It's so. think of it like a triangle use, that spires up. Yeah, you yeah. Can use the corners as cover, but you can't go under it, essentially. Yeah. So like you'll see. Like a wall. All right. So Monty. With, yes. Expand tongue. Blah, what? Blah, blah. I am a huge creature. Oh, Eat right. Big. Huge, even. A giant ape top of a giant tower. Nah, that'll oh, never my fly. Oh, my God. Somebody, somebody, somebody call I have legal. Helen on my other hand. Somebody <laughs> call legal. King Kong versus oh Rodan. God. Let's go. Yeah, I have Helen on one hand. The phoenix is the plane. Oh, my God. All right. <laughs> Reco. Go. This is a bit too animated. Guys, this is the too. weirdest game of Rampage I've ever seen. For real. Reckles. It is now your turn as the phoenix stands before you and lets out a horrible shriek and Taimatsu grabs the reins and stares down at you, smiling cruelly. Freckles lowers his head just a little bit to hide his eyes behind his, behind his hat, brings his talons up, and whispers, Bushinotsutsu, as four, uh, <laughs> as four, as four copies come out, and in four unified voices calls out i am toby kage toritoko son of hero toritoko and i will not be defeat and i will not be defined by my past Kurae! i'm just gonna drop the sun blade on him all right go ahead and roll the hit 27 27 that hits go ahead and roll Seven. Good job. Seven points of damage. Sneak attack because you have Remy within it's five feet. It's true. I'm right there, buddy. I got you. Yep. For an additional 18. Nine. Let's go! 25 points of damage as you slash into this creature and it lets out this horrible cry. But as you slash into it, you take. Sorry, I'm just reading something here. Fiery blood. Okay. Fire bad. Fire indeed bad. You take seven points of fire damage, Greckles, as you slash into this thing and the fire erupts in your face and ah, you kind of step back. And... All right, that'll be it for the your turn, I assume, unless you have a bonus action. Oh, or... no, 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 no. Well, I, that was I, your I... bonus action. That was your offhand. So I you got things movement. to do. Uh, <laughs> hang on just a second. I need to calculate damage. Oh, my, no. <laughs> oh, my, no. Oh I'm going to move. I know. And I That's am mobile, idea. so... 20. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Behind the monkey. Bad news, everyone. All right, you run behind the monkey. Run you, behind you like, monkey. You do like the down curvy slide between the monkey's legs and hop up behind him and kind of press your back to the leg. Yeah. All, right, All right, that's turn. Task, it is now your turn. This is the biggest bird you've ever seen ever. <laughs> Fuck yeah, hunter's market. All right. <laughs> that's a bird. I know you bird. That's, that's a bird. big bird. I can't I, wait I, to kill it. <laughs> oh wait, free action, cast slow. Okay, go ahead. What? It's a saving throw. He's got to make a saving throw of 17. Oh, what what type of saving throw is it? I believe it is dexterity. Double check it. Dex uh, let me double check that for you. Bop it, bop it, bop it, a boopy. You must make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, work. there we go. Uh, that's a 29. I'm so sorry. Oh. Jesus Christ. I'll never get this to work. Oh, well, I, fuck I, it. I, I, I would almost say just use haste. Take the, because it's a guarantee. I can't now, it's too late. Oh. That's fine, it's fine. <laughs> Here I go shooting again. All right, let's, go ahead and roll the let's hit. Let's see what that AC is, 27. 27. One sec, I just gotta read something really fast. Uh, okay, yeah, go ahead and roll damage. Yay, here I go. 
Here we go again on my own. Hold, hold on, we but I'm not done yet. Colossus Slayer and Hunter's Mark. Get them. All right. So 14, yeah, 15, 16, 17, 18. Yet. 11 points of damage. Not bad. Eight. Wait, no. 18, 18, 18. points 18. of damage, Monty. Oh, 18, seven, yes. Seven, yeah, seven, I wrote it down. Four. The 11 was the second half because I did the 7 and then I did the 11 afterwards. <laughs> it's like, okay, wait, okay. I was like, She's what? just noping out I seven do, points of damage. I do stupid <laughs> math because I'm dumb. That's and okay. <laughs> it's fine. It's right. No, it was just like, that's 18 belt. points of damage. Got it, 11 points of damage. You got it, 11. Heck, <laughs> like, task, like, no dreams for what you. What the fuck? All right. It's got a bird resistance. Fuck it. It's bird resistance. Second shot, sharpshooter. Let's go. Okay. Minus 10? No, minus 5. Minus 5. Minus 10. No, it's oh, minus, no, it five minus 5 and then plus 10 on the damage. No, so uh, that, then that would be 11 because it's 10 extra damage. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. So unfortunately, 11 misses. You fire again and the phoenix like ducks its head and you watch as the, uh, your arrow hits one of the talismans on the side and just kind of goes through it like a ghostly visage. And oh. for my move action, I'm going to make as much fucking distance between it and me and hide behind this thing like a coward. All right, sounds I good. I want that full cover. Got it. You kind of go up behind it. You kind of put your back against the wall. It's getting a little hot because, again, there's a fire downstairs. So yeah, you even begin to see uh, out of some of the cracks in the roof, some of the smoke kind of peeking through. All right, that ends Tass' turn. Borky, it is now your turn. I have to ask. Oh, man. Okay. I have... Alrighty, Borky is going to swing up. Borky's going to move up. To just up slightly to the right side of the feet. Am I hearing somebody? No, no, you're no, no, you're fine. Okay. Connor's just making dad noises. It happens sometimes. No, I'm, I'm a monkey. I, 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 I do. I do it too. Borky yeah. is uh, Borky is going to go into a. Um, I feel. Th I think it might be time to go into a potential uh, frenzied rage. Actually, frenzied rage. All right, you go into go. a oh, rage. Here we go. Double rage. But that comes next turn. First turn is a regular rage. Borky's All right, so feeling a little bonus bit. Bonus action. Uh, two attacks. Swings down with raw vault. 13. 13. No. As you swing forward, the phoenix does like the little bird hop backwards and kind of stares at you, kind of angling the neck, almost like a chiken leering at you. You Forky unfortunately miss. Neck. Forky cracks his neck. Okay, okay. I'll row shampoo you. <laughs> 14. <laughs> you go to swing again and you swing down on its leg and it just it, you just hit the stone and you hear a cackling laugh on the back of the phoenix. These are your friends, Greckles. I must say this is rather embarrassing. Uh, Where do I hit you? Uh, 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 we're just swinging, walking front forward. Ah! <laughs> All right, that ends your turn, Borky. <laughs> Evidently. The Phoenix is going to take a legendary action. Is it a laugh And he's going me? to make a peck attack towards you. Oh, oh fuck. The pecks. Oh. Well, technically, it's a beak attack. Sorry. Can I oh, hop peck. back? Peck the peck. <laughs> oh, my fucking God. Okay, Wait, that is going to be... Which is this? Is this a one-hit KO? It's going to be... Sorry, one second. Hyper Fang, take half your HP. That's going to be a... Fang. Hold on. I can't math, man. My brain is just not here today. What did you roll? Uh, I, want, I don't want to tell you because then you're going to find out stats, and I don't want you to know that. I'm all right. That's fair. Does a 32 hit you, Borky? <laughs> what the oh, fuck? Oh, oh, oh. Hold on. Uh, there's a meme of a guy with a short sword in the back of his head, and it yes. says, does a 24 hit you? I put that <laughs> in memes. Yeah, no, that's accurate. Monty, for a future reference, you can just say, yeah, that fucking hits. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, can. Over, I don't know if anybody can handle over 30. I'm working on it, though. All right, Borky, you oh. take 15 points of fire damage, and you are now on fire. Oh. You guys watch as this creature flares up, the beak opens, and there's this forge of fire as it snatches Borky and then just throws Borky onto the ground, and Borky's entire outfit just erupts into fire was that at half or he get he doesn't resist fire damage when he's raging oh yeah the beak Ouch. attack i was hoping was just going to be physical uh nope this whole thing is made of fire so there's no physical element to these attacks so we'll see what happens after as you're on fire for the rest of the fight well all I mean right 
Oh. Well, can we put him out? Yeah. It is an action to put him out. Okay, I was going to say, I feel like you could put him out. No, this is what I want to be in this fight. Also, Morky, because you did hit it twice. Or no, you didn't hit it. Never mind. Ignore me. All right, that ends the legendary action. <laughs> Panic God. is now your Why turn. Why you suck? You... <laughs> uh, he, 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 cries out, he cries out something about embarrassing, and then a huge fucking monkey peers out from behind the corner. <laughs> you don't like me and when you know, I'm angry. You know, you know that thing where a Rajang will like cock its shoulder back and you hear its knuckles popping? Yep. Oh, God. Yeah, it just looks right at this bird. <laughs> and just throws his fist forward at this thing's beak and just cracks it across the face with a punch. <laughs> All right, go for uh, it. I, I have a 10 foot reach, by the way. You do. Yeah, yeah. you're, you're so you, a you got big monkey arm. Thing. Uh, okay, this is going to be 1d20 plus 9. Where were you when Panic just rocket piece a giant that's bird? Gonna, that's going to that be a hits. 25 to hit. That hits. Okay, that is uh, 3d10 bludgeoning damage. Not bad, not bad. Uh, that's, okay. That is uh, 18, 19, 20, uh, 24 bludgeoning damage. All right, as you reach as you reach out and punch, your fists just go into fire. It does get purchased, and the bird screeches backwards. Uh, you are going to take nine points of fire damage as a giant ape. I need you to make a concentration check for me. Okay, using the monkey's constitution. Which should be decent, right? Oh, well, Natural there are 20. 20. Let's go. Oh. Good. Uh, you actually become two monkeys? <laughs> burn down, 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 burn, <laughs> down, burn down. Uh, but I'm not done yet. Uh, and I'm going to make another fist attack. Okay. <clears throat> oh, probably not. 16? That misses. As you go to oh, swing shit. again, the bird just Aah! like screams out towards you, and like you just go and you miss completely as you try to go for another punch. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, I'm, I'm just trying to make myself look as big and intimidating as possible. Okay. <laughs> Please tell me when you take damage, you make the Donkey Kong like hit animation from Smash. <laughs> Just the eyes popping out and everything. No, I make the Donkey Kong 64. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Okay. That's gonna be Welcome my turn. to bonus stage. Welcome to bonus stage. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> There's a, lot of, there's a lot of text on this base because it is now the phoenix's turn. Oh, did you did you did you say uh, how much damage did it take? Five. Oh, you took uh, you took nine nine points of fire damage. Nine fire damage. Damn. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm good. Okay. Hang in there, panic. I believe in the monkey. Yes. <laughs> Monkey. By the way, I, I posted I posted a picture of what of what monkey I was in the chat. Yeah, I saw. Yeah, yeah. All right. If I'm reading this correctly, and I can't wait for the YouTube chat uh, comments if I'm not, the phoenix <laughs> takes off into the air, and it does not provoke an attack of opportunity as it makes its way down to the um, end, and immediately <laughs> is going to yeah. fly through Seika, Remy. Borky and Panic. What are we? So okay. it has fire form. So the creature can enter a hostile creature's space. The first time it enters a creature's space on a turn, that creature takes fire damage with no saving throw. Oh. Uh, point, of or point of order, I have fire resistance. Yep, so just apply that when I give you the damage. Because I am a monkey, I do not. Is that just half? So <clears throat> Uh, it would be half, yeah. So all of you take five fire damage. That'd be two for you, Seika. Got it. And it is going to make a multi-attack. It's going to start by attacking uh, Monkey Connor. He's got Monkey Connor. Well, Connor's Monkey, monkey Connor. Connor. Who the fuck I'm, is that? Excuse me, I am Donkey Connor? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, weak attack Kong on you. Uh, that is going to be a 26 to hit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My AC is 12. Oh. Yeah, you're, you're a big monkey. Yeah, but you have a lot of health. Oh, He's back God. again at about time, too. No, this is what you I take, wanted. You take 20 fire damage. 
Ow. Make a wisdom, uh, make your concentration check, please. Do you use, hold on, I just want to double check if you use the, the animal's concentration or your spell casting concentration. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm pretty gonna sure that. I use the animals. Let I me... thought you used the spell Yeah, caster. I thought you used the spell caster stats. Let's have a little look-see here. Let's check. Let's this is that. important. Uh, da, 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 da. The target's game statistics, including mental ability scores, are replaced by the statistics of the chosen beast. It retains its alignment and personality. The target assumes the hit points of its new form. It's not saying anything about using my own constitution. Uh, new form... Okay, so you do. You use you do take yeah. the, the creatures. Okay, I just want to make sure. It's half so. 20, so I still need to get above a 10. You do, yeah. <clears throat> and that's not going to do it. Oh. You. Choo, 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 choo. <laughs> and, oh. <laughs> and you are now on fire. Your jacket is on fire. Well, that would have made the monkey on fire, right? It would have, but it's going to carry on to you. Okay. It's if the creature, if it's a creature, it'll just stick with you, unfortunately. And it's going to take a second attack of fiery talons against you. Oh. But you're now yeah. panicked, so you're you're also resistant to fire damage. So. Uh huh. I mean, yeah, but he's also still a bard. Twenty-eight to hit. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say it does to, to make to make the phoenix feel better. Jesus, Mary, to make the phoenix well. feel better. This thing has a roll of bad about this. It needs a boost. It has a roll of 26. You take a total of 11 fire damage. I rolled very poorly. That's cut down in half to five. And that's going to end the Phoenix's turn. Well, that's great. I ate all the hits. Panic is the tank yet again. Okay, you know what, what motherfucker? What can I say except you're welcome? You know what, my body I put Sika. on the line. Sick, yeah. it is now your turn. Um, what kind of sword is the sword that Taimatsu dropped on the floor? He didn't draw- he, the sword that was dropped on the floor is a scimitar, essentially a scimitar. It's like a curved blade. Is that treated oh. as a short sword? No. Scimitars are a specific weapon. Scimitars, okay. I believe, can be used with dex, but, though. But monk- yes, mistaken. scimitars well, but are I finesse I, and they are monk weapons. They are, yeah. I don't have proficiency in scimitars, though. That's- that's- should be a weapon type. No, no, you, you do. It's You're a martial monk. type. Do you have martial provision? I have simple weapons and short sword. Mm. Uh, it is considered a sword. It's martial and a sword. Yep, but Hold it's on. not a let short me, sword. Let me look. Let me look. I'm going to look. I'm going to look up. I'm going to look up. Gonna look up scimitars, are, scimitars are martial weapons. They are martial weapons, yes. And it just says so unfortunately. Sword. So I can't use uh, it. Okay. Yeah, scimitar I, is a martial melee weapon. Cool. Alrighty then. Um... Thing. It's also not in the greatest condition. It's like the hilt is like burnt away. There's no actual like you just see kind of like the um the part you put into the hilt kind of exposed. It's not very usable, I would say. Sure. It was definitely oh, meant to um, send a message. By the way, uh if you see if you hear me typing in the background, I'm looking up spell effects. Gotcha. You apologize to Austin, not to me. He's the one who's gotta edit those Austin, out. Austin! This one's Sorry. for you. Uh, okay, I am going to move here. Okay. And I am going to, uh... Sorry, my cat is being dumb. <laughs> um, I'm going to, uh, shout Taika and use Radiant Sunbolt to attack from a distance. Okay. 24. That hits. That's gonna be... Nice. Eight radiant damage. Nice. You slash, you you let loose a radiant sunbolt and it crashes into, the phoenix is on like within five feet to the ground, but it's still kind of doing that wing hovering sort of thing. And you, whew, you thrust out your hand and you strike it right in the breast as it kind of lands and the foot kind of stumbles for a bit and it has to rebalance itself. Good first hit. Uh, second attack. <laughs> Ooh. With a natural one, because it's me, of course. Excellent. Uh, I rolled a six. It's just a miss. Okay. Uh, I will spend a key point to Flurry of Blows. Okay. 
That's a 13. That misses, and you have one more as well. Because you have your offhand attack, and then you have your flurry yeah. of blows, which is an additional attack. That hits. That's a 22. 22, 22 hits. Nine Or points. nine more nice. radiant damage. Not bad, not bad. And then the offhand. It's a 10. Unfortunately, that misses, yeah. Nothing like a two for five, right? Yeah. 40% efficiency. All righty, that ends your turn. That's it. Okay. Hmm. Sorry, I'm just. I have choices here. Big thunk. Hmm. Hmm. Stuff. Hmm. Actually, I'm oh, not noticing. Oh, by the way, copy cutter is useless now. It's it's a fire thing. Do we have a fire? Use the silver short sword. <laughs> so Borky's on fire. Panic's on fire. I just want to notify that. Yeah. Yeah. I am on fire! Now, we, we are flaming, yes. The Phoenix. Ooh, what's Taimatsu gonna have it do? I think yes. The Phoenix is gonna use two legendary actions. Wait, what? Okay. A oh. swoop attack. Block him swoop on in. Oh, great. You watch as it takes off into the air, and you all kind of look up with bated breath as it streaks down towards Greckles. And it's going to take the space. Let's go. Uh, so he's currently occupying your space. Rude. But he's going to make a fiery talons attack against you, Greckles. That's fine. That's what I planned for. Uh, 26 to hit. <laughs> that will hit. However... You have, your, you have your duplicates up. I got all three of them, so I got to roll go. six or higher. You got this. That is not a six. Whoa. Are you kidding me? That's fine. I saw it coming. I can I can reduce damage. I'm I, I'm fine. All right. Well, want to get your shit together. Uh, they don't disappear though, right? Because it hits you. That yeah, is correct. They, all, they only okay. disappear when they get hit. Okay. Hmm. All right. So. Oh my god, my d8s are rolling like butt right now. Right, uh, shut up. Uh, you take 12 points of fire damage, Greckles. I am and... going to matrix dodge that in half. Okay, and then Seika and Greckles, you guys are also going to take fire damage as this thing has entered your space. I believe you also need to make a concentration check. Yeah, right? just, just hang on one thing at a time. Wait, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get my hit points down. There we go. Okay, con check. Uh, da, 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 da. Come on, please. That is a constitution. Never mind. That's um, correct. No, that, that's exactly what you need. You're still fine. Oh, yeah. Okay, fine. so 16, I'm fine. Yeah, yeah you're, you're going to take an, you're going to take an additional eight points of fire damage, and Seika, you as well, cut down in half to four as this thing oh, occupies damn. the space as it swoops down. All right. Just for clarification, we pointed out last week it cannot be stunned, right? That is no. correct. Correct. Okay. It can't be it stunned or blinded or any of that good stuff. What Kai said to you, because Kai has known the Phoenix for probably the longest of everybody, it is immune to exhaustion, grappled, paralyzed, petrified, poisoned, prone, restrained, and stunned. Okay. Can't suplex a Borky. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's impossible to suplex <laughs> this it's, Yeah, it's not a train. Sorry. I'm sorry, dude. All right, that trains. ends the legendary action. I believe that brings us now to Remy. It is now your Excellent. turn. Uh, will you allow me to use my water skin to put Panic out? Yeah, absolutely. That takes That action. would be a bonus action because I can interact with the object and it's like pouring a potion. Psst. You are uh, healed. You are no longer on fire, Panic. Oh, thank you. Uh, I am then going to touch Panic and cast Protection from Good and Evil. Oh. Okay. Good, good. And then I would like to speak as a free action. Go ahead. Uh, he will pull out his sword... And he will say, <clears throat> you know what is truly embarrassing? Being released over and over again from captivity only to fail over and over again. And he'll put up his shield. Okay. That brings us now to the end of Remy's turn. Top of the turn order, Greckles. Oh, boy. Um, I'm technically flanking, aren't I? Because this creature is so big. It is an interesting question because this creature is intangible. I'm going to make the argument that it cannot be flanked because it can occupy the same space as creatures. Wild. Uh, question, though. Does, is Taimatsu <laughs> I'm sorry, that delivery flanked? was great. 
is Taimatsu flanked? Because he is corporeal uh, and they share He is things, right? I would say if you want to flank, you'd have to flank this cube on the inside. So, so flank you know, across. Yeah, so I'll, you know what? I think that's a good okay. compromise. I'll let you do that. So if you're if Greckles is here, you to flank, you'd be on the opposite side. Yeah. So I would need to be here, correct? Yeah, you would need to be there on the very edge of the tower, mind you. <laughs> hey, that's fine. I'm dexterous. I'm gonna. Fly. I'm going to uh, bonus action dash to get myself 80 feet of movement. 15 of it is going to be to readjust myself over here. Um, is he too high up to be hit with a melee attack? I will say this: Taimatsu is definitely out of your reach, and they are for they are forged together, so they are the same creature technically in this fight. Oh, so it doesn't even matter. It does um, not even matter. Okay, then in that case, uh, knowing what's coming, but knowing that I've got a better plan, bringing down the Sunblade. Okay. Kiop. Nineteen. Wait, you said there was also 21. flanking. Twenty-one. Yeah. That's twenty-one. Yep, yeah, that hits. Go ahead and roll damage. Twenty-one. It's twelve plus. Nine plus. 19. Yes! Ooh, 31, 31 points damage. of damage. 31. Ooh. Oh my so, god. So that was... Oh, trust me. No, this is good. Um, That was 15, 8, 7, 60. I've got 65 left. Uh, oh. You take 8 points of fire damage. Roll a concentration check. Uh, da, 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 you made a melee attack against the creature. Yep. 19, I'm good. Good. You're fine. Ooh. Okay, 8. So I am down to that... I got 65 feet of movement, so 30. Ah, oh boy, this is fun. Come and get uh, And Greckles will just kind of shout out, Come and get me then, subjugator! Wait, I guess, really, wait, you're using mirror image, right? Yeah. It's not, I, it doesn't say that's a concentration spell. Oh! It's not? It's not a concentration, it says oh. duration one minute, component, Yeah, I was gonna target. say, we never, oh. I thought wow. you never rolled it before. I don't know why you're rolling it now. Yeah, yeah that's fine. true. Yeah, no concentration. I am, I am dumb. It's fine. Don't worry right. about it. That I just, my brain was like, wait a second, that's new. Yeah, that, that that was like, why would I be rolling? We're I good. We caught it, so we're good. Might, you didn't fail I, anyway. might at the thinking, end, I might be thinking of Blur. You might be thinking blur. of Blur. At the end of your turn, Greckles, as you run away, you feel the heat follow you as the phoenix flies towards you and is going to land here on top of the roof. So Task, you guys can all see it if you look up. It's within your aiming shot, but it is Good. on top okay. of the roof. It's move, it just it, doesn't provoke at all? No, it has, I'll read out the ability it has. Uh, where is it? Fly by, the phoenix does not provoke opportunity attacks yeah, when it flies out of an enemy's reach. Oh, yeah. fucking okay. uh, spinagogues have that too. Yeah. Yeah. All right, that ends the phoenix's legendary action after Greckles' turn. Task, it is now your turn. If I move over here, can you still grant me the ability to shoot it? Yeah, you absolutely can. Cool. Uh, switching to Ice Arrow, Sharpshooter. All right. Let's go, baby. Minus five, plus ten uh, damage. Come on. Oh, oh God. God. fucker. Wow. wow. It wouldn't Let have, it wouldn't have mattered anyway. That's not good. Let me try again. All right, same second thing. shot. Here we go. Second verse, One same as the first. more time. Oh, that's going to hit. There 25. we go. Oh, 25. That is hit. That hits. Go ahead and roll damage. Plus 10, baby. Plus 10. So this damage plus Colossus Slayer and uh, so seven, 17. Seven ice. Seven ice damage plus 10, Ooh. right? Yep. Oh, uh, hold on. Yeah, plus 10. So 17 ice damage. Okay. As the ice hero hits, it doesn't seem vulnerable to it. It doesn't seem resistant to it. Oh, my fucking Let's God. Let's go. Oh. 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 Mark. 17 plus 14. That's good. That's 31 points of fucking damage. That's a lot of damage. Holy shit. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Uh -huh. As you strike into the back of this head, the ice crystallizes over, and the phoenix like lets out this horrible braying noise as you watch one of the seals just collapse to the ground. This chain, this incorporeal chain kind of just drop to the ground. All right, that ends That's your turn, turn. Task. That All right, Porky, it is now your turn. Okay, so Porky's on fire. Yeah. Yep, you are on fire. Oh, which means you take damage. There we go. Yeah. One Good. Second. The range will continue on. That's true. That might be yeah. to your benefit, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Stay on fire. I uh, have to take... make crank you three. Take... You take ten points of fire damage. Fuck. Oh. 
I. Ouch. Damn it! I hate being this hot. I hate <laughs> you so much. Now, I can I run underneath this wooden thing? By the way. No, you cannot. It is climbable, and you can use it, it to obviously Think of it like a triangle that goes upward. Yeah. Son it's like the of... peak of this tower. All right, good. Well, I have a good, still have a wonderfully frenzied rage. So Borky's gonna pull out. Uh... Oh my god! I literally have two of these left. Um. Don't you have the javelin back? I do have the javelin. Tom, but chuck some javelins. The legendary heaven the legendary. javelin that yeah, dropped the heaven. from the I mean, sky. Already got more, Oni. Why not go for two? Uh -huh. Was it two-handed or one-handed? You throw it. It's a javelin. Javelins are one-handed throw. Yeah. Wow. You can start chucking them. Bang! This is. I want to save that. I want to save that one. That's a that's a that's a fun memorial. And it's you burnable. have more than one. Sparky's gonna throw a good old fashioned. Try it in one hand because I only have about three left. 24. 24. That hits. Go ahead and roll damage. Nine. Plus, All right. raging? No, melee only. Melee ah, only, but this, may, this, lets me continue, this lets me continue my rage, though. So mm -hmm. it's. The trident flies through the air and strikes in the tail feathers of the phoenix. And 22. 22. That hits as well. Hey, let's go, Borky! Nice. Hey. I Unfortunately, it, it seems resistant to the, the tridents as they are not magically inclined. But Damn. you have your third attack because of your frenzied rage. Borky pulls out his bow. That the, I don't actually have the bow on my uh, attacks and spell. We casting. just treat it as a long bow. So it's a long yeah, bow. it's, it's, a, long bow. it's a, a long bow. bow. Oh, it is a long bow. Okay, my bad. Yeah, it's uh, a long so bow. So what are the stats for that? Uh, a long bow is bubba da bubba da boopy. It's a 1d6. You have to roll the hit, though. Hold on. I believe it's strength. <clears throat> Hold on. Let it me just throw it in his I got it. Uh, it is... Uh, Marshall, let's, thanks for that game. I appreciate it's a it. Uh, it's I... 1d8, uh, blah, 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 plus blah, strength. blah, blah. So it'd be 1d8 plus 4. So go ahead and roll yeah. a d20 and add 8. d20 plus 8 for me. Sorry, mine is a short bow, so I'm just like, oh, Yeah, you're good. Fun. Well, he gets to yeah. use his strength, that's why. So it's good. Oh. 11. Never no, mind. Misses entirely, unfortunately. Good try, though. Sorry about all that. Wow. All right, oh, panic. It is now your turn. All the questions, and then it just fails. Mm. All right. So it is up on this roof now. The current juncture, it correct? It is. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, let's try this. So, uh, Panic is going to... Uh, duh, duh. I'm going to get away from everyone so yep. it doesn't do that weird, weird uh, mm. thing again. Yeah, that's what I was doing. Mitigate. His weird, uh... his weird running through the entire lane thing again. So he's just going to move up over here. That's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, and then I'm going to pull out a scroll. And I'm going to unfold it and look at it as the uh as the light blue runes blaze in my eyes panicle shout out you're as cold as ice and i will cast wall of ice in a dome around it let's go okay it needs to make a dexterity saving throw dexterity at the level of whatever the scroll was made at the Which scroll you that's would know it's Wall of Ice, right? It's going to be at the wall lowest level that it's available yeah, so at. Sixth level. Yeah, yeah sixth but level. whatever the DC is, I mean. Oh, the DC of that's, that's going to be based 15. on whoever created the scroll, which only you know. Yeah. It's going to be 15. They're all 15 because yeah. they're all I'm, made by I'm, the same person. I am creating a dome around it on top of the roof. Uh, unfortunately, so that is that is not going to succeed as that's going to be an 18 dexterity saving throw from the Phoenix. That's it fine. Takes half, right? It takes half of this damage. It takes half of... Uh, it ha takes half of 10d6 uh, ice uh, cold damage. Nice. Okay. So roll 10d6. No, that's one. 10d6. It takes nice. uh, half of that. That's going to be cold 34 damage. cut in half is going to be 20? 17. 17. 17. 17. 17 points of 17 damage. cold damage. Very nice. Um, as this ice crops up, the phoenix begins to fly in panic as it takes off into the air, being surrounded by the wall. You cannot put a roof on the wall 
Unfortunately, there are specific spells that do that, but it does encompass yeah, the space. Yeah, I create a dome or sphere within a radius of 10 feet. Oh, does it? Can you yeah, yeah. If it says dome, spell? that has a top. You you can form it into a hemispherical dome oh. or sphere with a radius of up to 10 feet, or you can shape it up to a flat surface made of 10-foot square panels. Okay. So it succeeded okay. the dexterity saving throw and took half damage, but it's still in. It's still on the dome. Okay. Okay. And then at the start of its turn, it needs to make a constitution saving throw or take 5d6 cold damage. Okay. All right. Good to know. Go. That ends your turn? Nope. Uh, ice it is, is an transparent. Action. Ax, uh, the ice, I'm going to say the ice is not transparent. That would yeah. be like glass. So I'm going to make that call. Ice is not transparent. Sorry. It's like That's wall of fire, true. wall of radiance, and wall of ice are the same. They have that same property. You cannot see. Fair people. enough. Fair yeah. enough. Um, in that case, I am going to, who can I see within range? Going to give Seika some Bardic Inspiration. All right. Bardic Inspiration bardic for Seika. Inspiration. Okay. It is now the Phoenix's turn. It has to make another saving throw, you said? Make, needs to make a constitution saving throw. Oh, this It's going to be bad at one of these. It's not bad. It, that's a natural 20 with its constitution, <laughs> unfortunately. Okay. Bosco, just stop talking. Just stop Please. saying words. It's still going to, to take give you, half to of give it. You, to give you context, that's 27 constitution saving throw for it. Oh. It's, st it's still going to take half of this. Okay. That's pretty good. Half, half of 20, Ten. man. So 10. 10. Okay. All right. And at the top of its turn, it is going to try and tear through this orb, bash through it to go towards Greckles for its first okay. attack. Okay, well, it, the wall has an AC of 12, so hit it first. There's there's no way it can miss. Well, it could not okay. one. It could. Stab it could. itself in the face. I rolled a 12, <laughs> so it's a 25. Okay. Okay. So it hits. Mm -hmm. It had to waste a turn for it, though. Exactly. This is going to be, this is gonna be double damage because the, the wall is vulnerable. Yeah. Mm hmm. Couple of oh, my great. God. Do you have the hardness of the wall? What's up? I rolled, I rolled two eights on the D8s. Oh, Jesus. Plus eight, so, takes... so that's going to be 16. That's going to be 24 times two is going to be uh, 40, 48 points of damage to the wall. Yeah, the wall, the wall is down. The wall has 30 hit points. Uh, however, uh, it is not, it's not done yet. Uh, it leaves a sheet of frigid air in the space where the wall used to occupy that does the same amount of damage. Does it activate at the when it's destroyed? Yeah. Hold on. Reducing a 10-foot section of wall to zero hit points a creature, destroys a, it and leaves. A, a creature moving through the sheet of ice for the first time on a turn must make a constitution saving throw. It is not moving through it at the moment. It is still occupying it. So I'm going to argue because you brought up the wall, that was the frigid ice. And then when it moves. Okay. If it moves, to leave in, it, if it moves into the, the space, it'll take the damage. So it will. Greckles, I need to make a either acrobatics or strength check of your choice. Oh, acrobatics. Please. Oh, my fucking God. 20. Good job. That is going to fail. Uh, you tie shit. with a 20 and aggressor wins. Roll the, roll the ice damage. Uh, It's going to be another 5d6. 11. Does it have to make another saving throw or is it just automatic damage? Uh, Constitution saving throw. <clears throat> that's yeah 25 it's fine it's gonna oh, it take five half. damage takes half of that it does yeah five greckles as you are flying you watch as the phoenix rushes through your body and you feel a hand <laughs> grab your neck <laughs> and as the phoenix takes off into the air uh -oh. you all watch as taimatsu flies off the edge of the tower turns towards your companion and smiles and says well, I tried to be amicable and just pitches you down to the earth. And as you feel yourself free fall, that's where we're going to take a break. Oh, God, I have to pee oh, so God. bad. Oh, you know. my God. F. F. Man. F. Okay. I'm going to run to the bathroom. I peed before then, so I'm, I'm gonna, pretty good for right now. I'm going to mark off the area around it where the frigid yeah, air is. Yeah, if you wouldn't is. mind, that'd be, that'd be helpful. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, so this is... There you go. Cool. That was easy. Yeah. Hi, guys. Welcome into a very interesting halftime show. Hello. Warm sperm with a thousand bits oh. and quick Bosco. Throw the potatoes at the bird. All right. Uh, yes, Shell, I can do that. What's going on, guys? It's, this is uh, this is intense. Uh, you know, Greggles is dying. <laughs> I'm, you know how it is. Yeah, yeah, that's how it goes usually. Yeah, you can't skip this one either, can you, Thero? So shut up, sit down, and enjoy the show. Uh, where was I? Yeah, no, thank you guys for being here, except for Thero. Everybody else, though, good to see you. Like big birds, and I cannot lie. Thank you for the bits. Title through the fire and the flames. I am more than certain we've used that already. Uh, transforming trombone. I'll have to catch you guys in the VOD, but beat that Oni's ass. Thank you for the 500 bits. Probate just decided to destroy everything. Shot one. It's, uh, that's 200,000 bits. Oh, there's shot two. Yep. So I see how and, we'll get there. And for uh, his bonus action? For his bonus. Bill, thank you for the tier one sub gifted to the community. To uh, Wondering Storyteller, probate with another 200,000 bits. Shouldn't you wait to see if we live first? Jesus. All right, probate. How could you produce the show when we're all dead? <laughs> yeah, shiny lamp. Thank you for the 100 bits. Taka, you laterally were the random a bullshit name. <laughs> oh, God, he bonus action. Yeah, I was right. No, he did. He Last shot, feeling the spice tonight and thought I'd share. Another 100,000 bits. That's 500,000 bits, Probate. Wait, Chill. what did I miss? Probate uh, dropped 500,000 bits. So, Probate, oh. I need you to calm the fuck down. Oh! Here, here, hold on. Let me let me go ahead and just put this in <laughs> chat. There we fucking go. There's that spice for you, bud. Starback, thank you for the 200 bits. Possible name, Dark Phoenix Rising. Magic, thank you for the 100 bits. So, we just had Kong versus Shadow Moltres on top of a Minecraft Nether Fortress. Trying to get all them fucking memes in there, are you, son? Yep. A uh, hundred bits. Kick that Oni's ass. Thank you, Twisted. Appreciate that. By the oh, way, bingo with hundred bits. I can't believe Monty killed Greckles. What a twist ending to his arc. Damn. That's that's what the monkey panic that's transformed monkey. into. Looks like. Monkey. <laughs> that's a very human face. It's very unsettling. <laughs> You just, oh. you just hear from it like a small <laughs> I'm picturing a do you think I am a fool? <laughs> Excuse me. Do you know how much the Dow is down? <laughs> <laughs> oh goody, my NFT sold. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> let's not let's not go there too hard. <laughs> Jesus. I'm gonna commit unalive on all of you. I don't know Do what thing. you just said. A what? 20 BMG, thank you for the 200 and change bits. This is the best arc for Remy and Greckles. What, what about Seika, though? Also, can we just can we just point out the fact that my my one of my best friends, Tomegi, and fucking Yukiko was dead? Man, I can't believe it. <laughs> These characters that you know nothing about are dead, and only I weep them because I know who they were. <laughs> the backstory. Yeah, but hang on. But yes. no, now we do know. We know Greckles. your backstory. Freckles, Yukiko's alive. Yeah, Yuki, oh. he gave you the That's chance to go alive. back to Yukiko. That He's was the like, whole point. He's like, go back to her. Here's your feather. Oh. He, just, he killed the person that married her. Well, okay, I so mean, I can't exactly I, do that. I did you a favor. I, bro move. I resisted saying something at the end of that, which was Borky whispering to Panic, I think that's the bad guy. <laughs> also, Monty, uh, I... The perk is Izer. Thank you for the 100 bits episode title, Who Orders Hot Wings? Oh, 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 oh man, if only Hot Wings were open after, if, like, the moment this is done, that's not happening at this that's hour. Oh, God damn it, Probate! Probate with another 100,000 bits. Probate, I will fight you. Stop. What the fuck? Stand he's down. He's, damn it! He's feeling, he's feeling generous because he won at, at, at Betrayal at House of the Hill. Oh, did that's he? That's 600,000. Yeah, uh, I'm what? counting. What? Muscle Wizard, what? thank you for the 1, 2, 3, 4, 500 bits. Title name, The Attack of the Fire Nation Attacked. 
Uh, uh, Dragon God 20. People Dra stop it, please. Hang on, we'll Lord. get there. Why? Uh, Dread oh, Hunter 335, thank you for the 400 bits Power Ranger reference. Greckles discovers he can use the Animalian armor. I wish, um, man. That'd be tight. Uh, Dragon God, thank you for the 10,000 plus 1,000 plus 500 bits. So that's 11,500. Thank you so much. Love you all and hope you all survive. We gonna see about that. Uh, we've got Rogue Phoenix with the 10 bits. Thanks for keeping me company while I pack. Finally moving out of my parents' place. Congratulations. Oh, nice. Yeah. We've also got uh, Zine Lida with 300 bits. I heard the Squeenix is teaming up with Apocalypse Studios to tell the backstory of various Final Fantasy IX characters. They're starting with the legacy of Zidane. Huh. Uh, Burn, I'll give you the 100 bits episode title, Plane of the Rising Phoenix. Also, 100 bits from the 3597 Fakes Lim Shady. I said that wasn't real. That was a bit. That was a bit. Yeah, I, 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 mm. I know, but then there's also that fucking Final Fantasy Dark Souls game that's in the yeah, works. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> Uh, Magic with another 100 bits. Also, this is the first time I've ever saw this secret fi fifth tier of Twitch bits. A damn probate. Freaking can four I, million. Can I just say I'm looking at the chat right now and the, uh, the, the image of Task in the <clears throat> giant fucking Tonberry outfit is the first time I've ever yeah! seen that, and I love there it. There you go. <laughs> Did you not see the animation, dude? It's so cute. No, oh, damn it. I need to, there's it's an all, animation. It's, it's, it's a whole animation. We had to take a frame from it, but it's so cute. I'll grab it for you. Hold on. I'm back, by the very, way. It's oh. very reminiscent of the, uh, of the later alligator animation. Yeah. yeah. Uh, fuck yeah. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to find it here. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, I retweeted this like crazy. I loved it so much. Oh, sorry, man. Easy, I'm sorry, I'm a blind asshole. <laughs> yeah, I missed it too, apparently. Right there, I sent it to you, Zito. Actually, I'll post it in the... Holy okay. shit, yeah. I love it. <laughs> Isn't it cute? Can you oh, post man. it in general? Yeah, I put it in general. Oh, I'm so mad at myself for missing this. Isn't it cute? Oh my oh, god. It fucking rules. <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately, due to it. A, unfortunately, the sideshow pro, uh, program does not like gifts or. Um, yeah, slideshow only things. allows still images. Mm -hmm. We had it working with gifts for a while, but the problem was it would it caused an error where it couldn't play any other files if it exceeded a certain amount of of uh, program like data amounts. It was kind of weird. We we had to try and like figure out. Damn it, probate! Oh my god, dude! Sir, can you please? It's what the fuck. All right, probate down boy. Uh, probate get, with the 10,500 bits. Now I'm spent. Are you though? Cause you lied already. Oh my Can God. we get Austin a new cage? Like one of the fun ones that has tunnels in it. We might I wanna have give him time. A, I want to get him a gold plated one. Eh, no, no. We, we, also, we might uh, a bit much. I think. Brain, thank you for the mm -hmm. Twitch prime sub. And we've also got uh, another hundred bits from magic oh. hype train time. Uh, are you, are you that's that's nutty. <laughs> Y'all are nuts. Also, uh, we have a lot you. of viewers as well. I didn't notice. Like, we yeah, we have almost. Oh yeah, we almost have 1,500 here. Uh, uh, Thornton, thank you for the 500 bits. Couldn't there have been a chance that the Oni grabbed a clone of Greckles? No, no. It's, it's attacks. It's, yeah, it's only attacks. Yeah. Uh, Art and Salt with 100 bits. Probate starting the hype train. Let's go. <laughs> also, I, I assume if he's 12 feet tall, that hand's probably big enough to grab two or three. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just scoop them up. Literally you know, grabs you know, Greco's like fucking squeak toy sound. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, what are we the all edgy back? For yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, we good to keep going? Let's go. I'm falling. All right, Greco's, you are thrown, uh, and you just feel your arms in front of you begin to fall backwards, and you all just hear a laugh, a cackling laugh. That ends the Phoenix's turn. Greckles has fallen. I'm going to say, hmm, how many times a turn do you fall? Well, first of all, a turn back. is only six seconds, so. Yeah, so. so he's not going to fall very far very quickly. All right. Uh, with the rest of the movement, though, the Phoenix not taking Greckles. Greckles has fallen. And wait for that Gerard Butler movie. It's going to, how much movement was that? We have, we moved here. 
40 feet, that leaves 80 feet. 30 feet leaves 50 feet. Yep. Man. Panic and Seika. You guys are going to take some fire damage as it rushes into you. Damn it. Uh, you both take seven points of fire damage, but you're both resistant, so you only take three points. Okay. Uh, All right. Uh, you gotta e I'm good. All right. That ends the Phoenix turn. Seika, it is now your turn. You just watched as Greckles was just let, because he like he grabbed Greckles, flew up high to show you what he was doing, and just tossed Greckles. Like he like slam dunked Greckles. So he he was at a height above the roof when he threw him. Um, just for, just so you could see it, and then he came down and threw him essentially. Okay. So at this point, I'm gonna say Greckles is 30 feet falling at the moment and falling rapidly. Okay. Did we ever oh, yes. address? <laughs> Did we ever address uh, whether using Step of the Wind as a bonus action uh, counted as the movement, or can you do that as well as the movement action? You do movement. Step of the Wind means you dash, I believe, as a bonus action. So it you says you can take movement. the disengage or dash action as a bonus action, but it doesn't say yes. it replaces your movement action. It does not. So you'd have your movement, which I believe is 40 feet, and then your dash action, which, which would be another eight. 40 feet. Oh, it's but another you'd still have your, okay. you'd have well, your uh, action 50, actually. still. So, I have, so I have a hundred feet to move. Mm -hmm. um, I also have unarmored movement, which allows me to run along vertical surfaces yep, without sure falling. Do. So here's 50. Um, that would give me 90 over that the edge. You, and I could run down 10 more feet. Yeah, and you'd be 20 feet away from you at that point as you're running down. And I then double move as well that is double moving so your dash the bonus action to dash is your double movement you so just there's get no to way as to a bonus spend action. another action for movement no you'll be 20 feet away from him can okay. i throw something out there really quick because you've seen me do it i've i've misty stepped plenty of times before have you done that while falling i mean no you saw me do it when we were in the water plane but i haven't seen you do it while falling Okay, just throwing that out there. That's all I'm throwing. Um, yeah, that's a little meta e. Let's not do that again. <laughs> okay, sorry. Yeah, no, it's okay. So yeah, um, having having an internal monologue because I'm supposed to protect him, but I'm also not supposed to be reckless. But also, I have to I have to protect him. So. <laughs> Well, conflict. Uh, conflict is good. Wait a minute. Hold on. How how high up is this thing? That thing is 30 feet tall, so you can climb Oh, it. Jesus. Okay, so that wouldn't help. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I guess I'm going over the edge, running after All right. Greckles. All right. You run off the side and begin to run down the side of the the, the building. Uh, Greckles, 20 feet falling. Move your character where you need to go. I was trying to, and I was like, why is it not working? And it's uh -oh. because I still had it on the measurement. <laughs> So, you did not disengage, so the phoenix gets an attack off on you. Mm-hmm. And it's going to take a beak attack on you. Uh, that is going to be 28 to hit. Uh, yeah. Ouchies. Okay. Yeah. That is going to be... Oh, jeez. Uh, 17 points of fire damage, cut down in half to 8. And you are now on fire. Is as your that robes possible? ignite. Yep, your robes ignite into flames. Aren't they this is, made out of flame resistant material? Being from the plane it's a, of fire? It's a phoenix fire. It's magical fire. Okay. Your it, armor isn't within itself inherently magical, so it does have to catch fire, unfortunately. I'm sorry. Alright. Yeah. Cause the same could be applied to the frost salamander skins, and these those don't give you the same effect either. Also, Monty, could you adjust the map just a little bit since there's now people on the bottom? There is. You're correct. Thank you. All right. Oh, you guys still can't see them. Hold on. There we go. All there right. Seika, you run after Greckles. Greckles, you look up and you see Seika running down. Greckles. Yes. You hear a voice in your head. Oh. 
One of one, two of two. You follow me, I follow you. And you feel as if talons, not harsh or violent like the phoenixes or any other bird you've encountered, but gentle, like a friend grabbing your shoulders in a reassuring manner, grips to the side, and you begin to hear a sound behind you. Seika, as you look down and you chase after Greckles, you see porcelain, a mantle of porcelain, just appearing around Greckles' shoulders and slowly growing out are these massive porcelain feathers. Oh! Oh, he's gonna fly! Oh god, they can fly now? Oh my god, Greckles is gonna be the happiest bird! Oh, my dream! Ah. <laughs> uh. Oh my god. So, Greckles. Uh-huh. You now have the aspect of Kai. You can re-roll one roll, and you can also cast Fly on yourself. Oh, dang! It's so good! It's so good! And instead of the 10 minutes that it requires and the concentration, it is not a concentration as the concentration is reliant upon Kai's concentration. Mm -hmm. And instead of lasting up to 10 minutes, it can last up to an hour. Oh my god, wow. that's so good! Call, call yeah, a doctor dude. if it lasts any longer, though. Oh, of course. <laughs> but... Unlike Aos, this does take the same amount of casting time to use. Sure, so it still takes an action to activate, correct? Yes. Okay. So, because the benefit to Aos is that essentially Task can cast haste without doing anything. Whereas you get this, and the bonus is that you get to, um, to just explain, just to compare it. So your bonus is that it lasts longer, it's not concentration. None of your guys' spells are concentration because, again, it relies on the aspect. Um, yours is that you have the extended time. Tass is that he can do it as a free action, and Panics is that he can summon shit that is way higher than you're supposed to. Yeah, that's to. a little nuts. Yeah, so that's that's the, the trade-off, essentially. So I can't control it. <laughs> no, you can't. That's the that's the unfortunately. Grab night. Remy. So basically I can yeah. re-roll stuff. Okay, come on. You can you can you fuck you dude, you destroyed a dragon camp. Well, shut up, man. <laughs> <laughs> God. Anyways, <laughs> Remy. Remy, a person who appreciates the fun things I put in the game. Go ahead, yes. and it's your now to your turn. Awesome. Uh, do I know any of what just happened? Mm -mm. Excellent. So I'm gonna double no, move, and he, and he already burned okay. his reaction. Well, so you would have seen. Hit. You would have seen Seika go after him. Right. I'm gonna try to help you. you um, don't get an opportunity attack, but because you go through the space of the Phoenix, you are gonna take fire damage. That's fine. Uh, you take five points of fire damage as you That's rush fine. through the flames. Nice. All right. Uh, and then Remy is going to cast Featherfall on Greckles. He's within range. Uh, I'm going to say at this point, you are not. I'm sorry, what? You can't you see him. He was 30 feet position. down. You cannot see that him. That was at the position. end of last round. He's already had his turn, which means he's fallen more. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Great. It's okay, dude. It's fine. That's my turn. Dramatically, it's okay. it makes it's a okay. ton of sense. You're, dude, look at it this way. You're not pulling meta shit. It's fine. Nope. That's why I asked if I knew. I pulled... Mm, Mark, you feel me. I'm, that's my turn. I got you, fam. All right. Greckles, it is now your turn. You have a flight speed. Oh, boy. 60, 60. correct? I believe it should be 60 as the fly All right. Do a 60. Um, hell, man. question. Yes. Would mobile apply to this fly speed? Uh, does it, what movement does, does it say any movement or does it imply with just like standard movement? Let me pull up mobile really quick. Mobile. Uh. Uh, it's pronounced mobile. Oh, don't. Your speed increases by 10 feet when you use the dash action. Difficult terrain does not cost, uh, extra move on your turn. Wait, no, I'm not, I'm sorry. This isn't a mobile thing. This is a rogue thing. Uh, cunning action. I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to say your cunning action to dash. Um, you can't technically dash. That's a good question. I think yeah, I mean, you're, you're, if you're, using, you're using a natural yeah. speed. So if you're dashing, you're using you're a natural you can, speed. You can yeah. take, okay, so 
Oh, okay, so it says this action can only be used to take the dash, disengage, or hide action. That's it. You can take uh, you can take a bonus action on each of your turns in combat, which is dash, dis, uh, disengage, or hide. Okay, so there's I'll, you know for. what? Unless I learn differently later on, I'll say for now, I'll allow that. That your dash cool. is your. I'm your pretty sure speed. that's the way it works anyway. I think yeah. it is. I, I feel like in Critical Role Season 1, that's what happened as well, spoiler alert. So, go ahead. You have Take fly it. speed, it's not your turn. You, you, you see Grekels flexing these porcelain wings. You hear him, instead of, in, instead of crying out in fear, laughing and cackling in joy as he, gra as, as he reaches up to grab you by the hand. I've, I, I'm, I'm going to initiate the bonus action to give myself 120 uh, flight speed. I will right. use the 20 to reach out to grab Seika. All right. As you take off and you start laughing, you hear a voice enter your mind and go, it goes, listen, simply because we are not dead, do not let this go to your head. As you snatch up Seika and you begin to fly upwards. That will have your movement because you're carrying a creature the same size as you. That's fine. Just keep that in mind. It's it's not like like a, a furious sort of laughter. It's just pure joy. Well, he can feel your emotions. So, yeah. You know. Yeah. All right. Um. So, that was twenty out of a hundred twenty. So I got a hundred halved. How much is it going to take to get Seika back up onto the ledge? Uh, it's probably going to take about. I'm going to say at this point about maybe forty feet. So I will get forty feet up out of the fifty that I have. Um. Shoot. Plop them there. So then oh, you'd oh, have sorry. eighty. I'd say you have eighty feet left once you reach the edge of oh, your own movement. Boy. Excuse me. Greckles takes to the air, everyone every, everyone just seeing him dart in porcelain wings, uh, going forward to the phoenix, and just gonna I will, just, yes? I, I will say this as one additional thing. If you are flying and you attempt to hide when you are you have your wings out, it is with mm -hmm. disadvantage, unfortunately, because they are sense. very noticeable. Oh, they're so big! Just keep that in mind. Yeah. They're big, no, no, no. and they're also and they're glowing. Made yeah, and they glow. And they're it's made of porcelain. <laughs> no, yeah, that's fine. So. That's totally cool. No worries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, All right, go for it. All right. Uh, that was the bonus. Okay, so... Go, Todd! 26. That hits. You have sneak attack because panic's right there. Yep, so Five. 7 plus panic. I love you. 18. So, let's oh. see. Eight, six, 5. That is 25 points of damage. 25 points of damage. It's as panic, as you're standing there and Taimatsu kind of tilts, it goes... How would you like to die? You watch as a dark hits him in the shoulder and he turns and sees now flying in the air. And you see now two Greckles standing with the flames now erupting from the roof framed in this magnificent silhouette. Greckles, you. Greckles just smiles. And with my last 40 feet, I'm going to go all, the, you know, actually, let's go here. And he okay. just... Dart just darts away. Okay, that brings us around now to a legendary action. Uh oh. Hi, Panic. Hi. Hi. No. They're Why gonna do. Uh, whatever you're about to do, if it's an attack, it's gonna have disadvantage. Right. I have protection against protection good and evil. Protection from good and evil. Right. That is true. So just keep oh. that in mind when you go to hit him. I'm gonna mark that you have that panic. Protection from good and evil. This is why I did it. Well, you saved the natural 20, thank yes. God. Ooh. Yep. Oh, 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 God. Boy. Uh, actually, not the greatest roll, but that's gonna, still going to be a soft 20. Yeah, that'll hit. All right. That. Whew, okay. <laughs> uh, this is going to be uh, a peck attack against you, Panic. And this is a legendary action? Yep. Peck. The okay. Phoenix can make one beak attack against you. So it's going to make a beak attack against you, technically. Oh my god, Jesus. Uh huh. Give it to me Sorry, straight, Doc. Uh, 20 points of fire damage, cut in half to 10 for you. Uh -huh. And you are now on fire again. I'm a, a oh, damn it. Bitch. <sighs> It that shouldn't end. happen to a tank. That, <laughs> God damn it, Zeno. Uh, <laughs> that ends the Phoenix's legendary action. That brings us around to task. It is now your turn. Can I see this fucking thing over the edge? You cannot, unfontunately. Okay, well, how angle. about- Yeah. 
How yeah, about you can, if I just you, move over here? There you go. You're yeah. good. Now you can see it. You're good now. <laughs> yeah, what if I just step over here? Yeah. How about I just take a dosy <laughs> dough to the right? All right. Uh, I'm going to try and hit this thing with Sharpshooter. Come on, because okay. I have a plan. All right. I trust you. Sharpshooter's going to pay dividends for you. Yes. Let's go! 20, that hits. 24. Four. That hits. Go ahead and roll damage. Plus okay, 10. So... What did I tell you, Zeno? I got your back. Yep, yep, yep. 17. Plus. You... Plus. Hold on. We ain't done yet. 17... 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Yeah, it's going to catch all of you. All right. As I'm, you I'm... let loose the arrow, it goes right through the front of the beak, back out the head, and you watch as all the talisman chains, and you hear a horrible shrieking noise as Taimatsu goes, no, no, and you watch as the phoenix begins to warble and fly into the air. I need everybody, because this is going to hit everybody, to make a dexterity saving throw for me. Is this an AoE? Yeah. This is an AoE, yes. So oh, evasion uh, of stood. By the way, I'm just going to roll for concentration. 21! I forgot to do that. Yeah, I'm okay. going to have to roll for this if it hits me. Uh... Let's uh, go, oh, Remy! I, 18! Wait, protection from good and evil. Would I have an advantage on this? I'm not you sure would. how it works. Uh, wait, let me double check. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, double check. Advantage on stands, well? I believe. Uh, disadvantage on attack rolls. You can't be charm frightened or possessed if uh, blah, 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 blah. The target has advantage on any new saving throw against the relevant effects. No, not on this, because it's a deck save. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. It's not That's against fine. being okay. charmed or frightened. Uh, right. Borky, do we uh, have a Borky here? Hello? No, oh, I, I am here. I was just. Oh, Monty, I have a very important question for you. I'm gonna need to know if I pass or fail. Okay. We did. I just need all the rules first. So, Quirky, this is with advantage yeah. for you. So Yay! Oh, thank God. That, oh oh man. man! God! God! Wow! Wow! All wow! Alrighty then. Anyone okay. who rolled beneath a twenty fails. Oh Jesus Christ! Uh, and hey, I, I, high five, Breckles. We did it. High five, evasion oh, throws. Close, <laughs> Monty. Yep. Yeah. Uh. But really quick, for mechanical sakes, will this be fire damage? Yes. Cool. Uh, I'm going to reaction use absorb element, so I take nothing. Okay. Uh, the rest of you. Second. I need more diehard dice to roll this. Oh, dang. Explosion damage. Jesus Christ. Oh, you have That's resistance. Explodes. I fucking shot down a bird! You're not yeah, Tass, you're not immune. You only you only gain resistance to it, so half. So would I get double resistance because I have the I have the helmet. You already yes. cut. You would you cut go. in half whatever it was already half. You cut in half and then you you cut a half so again. Take okay. 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 okay, fair enough. All of you. Oh God. All of you yeah. take twenty six points of damage if you rolled below a twenty. So 26, apply resistances if you have them. If you succeeded, you take half of that. So you take uh, you 13. take 13 instead. But As we the have phoenix. Evasion, so we take nothing. So I would take, I would take six. I am going to cast Absorb Elements and have that, because fuck that. Okay. Just... As the phoenix explodes, the middle structure just is turned into shrapnel, and it blasts across and the entire rooftop ignites into flame. All of you brace yourselves as this massive explosion happens. Panic, as you're standing there and you kind of like cover your face and you look down, you hear a thud noise, like a thunk noise. And next to you is a black and brimstony embery egg. Oh. Oh, oh well. And egg. <laughs> egg. 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 And as this happens... The forbidden omelet. No! <laughs> <laughs> Do not eat your, my god. <laughs> your your ice zone is gone, by the way. It got absolutely fucked by this. Ah, oh, jeez. I gotta move people into proper positions. Would it have also blown fine. away my on fire? Uh, no, you are even more on fire. Yeah, extra, extra on fire. Fire plus fire does not equal less fire. <laughs> fire Some indeed hot. Fire Summon a bee, it's a It's a dish, rebuke. not multiplication. Ah, just I hellish rebuke the fire. So, as you guys 
stand up, you see standing in the center, brandishing his weapon, glaring daggers at you, Taimatsu. Taimatsu turns to all of you and goes, Very cute. Do you think that this means you won? Look around you! And I want everyone to roll perception checks for me. Oh, everything's on fire, but worse. Uh, that's 11. I'm hurt. 21. Oh, that's an 8. 22. <laughs> uh, 13. Okay. Borky, Task, and Seika, as you guys look behind you and down towards the fighting, you see the monks being overpowered. You see them being slaughtered. And Taimatsu, noticing your realization, kind of smiles and laughs. And he goes, Your mission here was a fool's errand. And he watches, he shing, pulls out his sword and pulls out his club. And then you hear a noise. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. And you watch as he is like confident, he turns back and you watch as doorways in the sky, foom, 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 open. <laughs> One of which go. has water pouring out of it. Let's oh! go! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> da, 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 Fine! And you watch as all of the mounted cavaliers just charge into the side of the hobgoblins. You watch as the water washes away the fire, and you watch as the very, you actually watch as the water ganasi who are all in wobbly legs, like come out and they're like, whoa, like trying to stand up right <laughs> as they come out and just, and like throw tridents out towards hobgoblins. You see time out to go, no. No! And you watch as a giant crackling thunderstorm envelops over the space and lightning shoots down, striking at hobgoblins as you watch the sorcerers and wizards of the elemental plane of air led by Prince Fuck Walk yeah. enters the scene. Wait, is, no! Is, is the dude that I revived there with them? Yeah, he sure is. Let's, oh, let's, go. Go. Yeah. let's go! You watch as, uh, I can't remember her name, but she was the the uh, second in command to the princess. Obviously the princess is not here, she's literally nine. Uh, uh, but her second, yeah, River's here. River's here and she's missing an arm, but she's got like a like a sort of like seashell one. Like it's kind of like this weird oh, that's cool. kind of construction. That's so it's so like fucking a, sick. Yeah, and she's like coming out and she just goes and backhands one of the hobgoblins and you see her give you guys a nod as everyone just goes in to fight. I need you guys to all re-roll initiative for me now, please. Oh, oh, man. Right. oh, oh God. God. Fuck, yeah. yeah. 21. 21. You guys know how we were joking Let's before go. the fight? <laughs> oh, my God. How, I'm how so we done with him this? throwing my fucking boy off the, the this fucking is, edge. This is phase two of a Liam Lois. Where the fuck are we? Yep. Oh, 20. Jesus. <laughs> Let's go. Right. Hey, right. Seiko and Remy are not fucking around. Guess yeah. care time. Let's go. Uh, it's a 16 for me. I Good see you, Mark. Guys. Who once oh. was last shall now be first. Money, money. Yeah. I can't stop smiling. I can't stop smiling, and it feels so good. Taimatsu looks just like <sighs> he's gritting his teeth together. You see that forge fire in his mouth, just. Uh, yeah. That's that's what I'm used to seeing from these freaking guys in other elements. That's what I'm used to say. Is this guy saying that we're going to lose to him? Three of us are resistant to fire damage. We were the most prepared for you. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy, can, since I'm like you're, losing my turn, can you, can you at least grant me a free action to speak? Sure, you get a free action this week. I, yeah, I was going to say, I'd love to cool. say something. So, as, as he's fucking like looking, he looks back and he's like, no, no. And I'm like, oh. You're right. You're still standing. Let's fix that. Okay. All right. Let me get these initiative. Oh my God, Seika. Yeah. <laughs> Remy. Let's go, boys. Forky. My turn. Task. Hello. And panic. Wait. What about me? <laughs> yeah. Where are you? Oh, you're on. I'm the way 21. There. Yeah, all right. I should be before Borky, technically. Yeah, Greckles is there. And 
Again, trade off. No, no, no layer action to get first initiative. I have to roll. That is actually really good. Holy shit! Uh, that's gonna put him actually behind right Seiken Remy. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> that's where the fuck you're going. <laughs> now don't this get too act. cocky, everyone. This you is act, act two. This is where Remy and Seika sacrifice their this lives is, for the benefit yeah. of this. <laughs> yeah, this is phase two. <laughs> okay, phase two. Let's fucking go. Which one of us is? Oh no, I can't make that joke. That's no, don't. I think I know where you were going. Don't yeah. make that joke. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Seika. Yeah. You see the phoenix egg. It's about the size of a um. I don't know. I don't know how big how I can describe how big it is. It's like the size of like a coffee can, like a big coffee can you can get at like Costco. It's about that size. So it's oh, an right ostrich egg next to task. Bigger than an ostrich egg. Uh, it's it next to panic. Panic next has to panic? it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. Keep down. Back up. It's an egg. Can I? I have it. Can I do a religion <laughs> check to know if I if anything I've ever learned or studied would tell me how to revive the phoenix? Religion with advantage. Twenty-one. Nice. You would know. Let me grab the stats because you would know this with that check. Uh, where is it? Okay. So the explosion destroys the phoenix's body and leaves behind an egg-shaped cylinder that weighs five pounds. The egg is blazing hot, and it will deal 66 fire damage to any creature that touches it. Jeez. Though it can do no more than that than once per round. It is immune to all damage, and after a certain amount of days, which is random, it will hatch into a new phoenix. Now, if it hatches with the fire, this guy, it'll be evil again. But right. you have the chance to bring it back as it's per normal. So, But it's immune you know, to all damage. It's immune to all damage. Okay. Cool. Then I don't have okay. to worry about it. Um, okay, next question. The giant boiling lava in the middle of the map, is that um, like actual magma or is that a hole leading to the floor? That is the fire that's breaching up, so it is a hole in the floor. Mm. Okay. If you uh, jump so... over it, you will take fire damage as well. So if you move through mm. those spaces doing like a running jump, you will take fire damage. Just keep that in mind. Okay. It is. It is not Phoenix fire though. It'll do less damage. Well, okay, so I'm going to move here using a route that was like this, essentially. Yeah. Okay. Um, so avoiding the fire. Uh, and uh, this might surprise you, but I'm going to Radiant Sunbolt him. In okay. The Go ahead. Gonna use. I was going to make... Jeez, that <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! Natural 20. 11 radiant damage. 11 radiant damage. As you boom, boom, let out this blast of arcane energy, sure enough, it makes purchase and Second. strikes him right in the face. And you watch as part of his mantle snaps and lands to the ground. He rah, turns back to you and flares with flame. Moikai! One more. You can't get it. Yeah. Yeah. So it. close. Ooh. So close. Does that hit? Please tell me that hits. Yeah, I'm that really absolutely hits. It's 26 hits. Mama said Nakion is playing right now. I'm not going to lie. Six more radiant damage. Let's Six more radiant damage. Spending a key point. Flurry of blows. Okay. This is, this is when the Custodes was rolling 10 constantly. Okay. 11. It's fine. 11. As you throw more. the second one, he brings up his blade and just ricochets it off into like the far off distance. And you hear a hobgoblin go, ah, and fall over dead. <laughs> uh, for style, this is still going to be a radiant sunbolt. But after that last one, I'm going to uh, basically duck down and do uh, a hand plant roundhouse kick for another radiant sunbolt. Bolst? Bolt? Bolst? Ooh, 16. 16 does not hit. As you go to fire again, you hit him right in the center of the chest and he doesn't even move. He doesn't even flinch and looks up and goes, Cute. Uh, and then for my offhand, uh, I'm going to do a 540 uh, tornado kick uh, for another Radiant Sunbolt. I'm going for okay. Zuko right now. Fuck this guy. 17? Just misses. I'm so God sorry. God damn it. You're, no. <laughs> you're made, why am I always two of five? <laughs> you already made four attacks anyway, though. What's that? You already made four attacks anyway, though, didn't you? That's an offhand. 
Can you offhand Radiant? I have two you. attacks per turn, and then I use Flurry of Blows. And you then have, have no, 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 no. You shouldn't have had I'm that because three. it's it's four total. So you have your yeah, two I'm attacks, you have your offhand, and then your key point gives you an additional attack on top of that. So not five, it's four. Uh, yeah, if you if you Flurry of Blows, you get two. You can spend one key action. point to make two unarmed strikes. Yeah, as a bonus action. You right. can't then use your bonus action to get another. You don't I see, so the offhand is a bonus yeah. action. Yeah. Um, right. That is okay. Dude. Well, then we fucked up like every other session. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I know. You someone, have, someone was sending me we? notes about that, and I was like, "Oopsie." Okay. Hi, hi YouTube. Chris, I feel like I would have caught here. that. Who cares? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's literally what I've done like the entire time. So I know that's why I got yelled at. So I'm just like, I'll probably try and bring it up, but I'm like, okay. Eh. So that hey. last one wouldn't have mattered anyway. Then. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Cool. So Connor, yeah. just just so we know, because it you usually mantle. How long does inspiration uh -huh. last? I think it lasts for oh, um, the hit point. Oh, the, man the, 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 the mantle of inspiration lasts until we take a long rest. Right, yeah, but, they're basically but normal, normal inspiration. Normal inspiration is, let me look at bardic inspiration once in the next 10 minutes. So you're oh, good. so okay. you still have that. Do you we, say, can you have inspiration? Do you want to try rolling for that last attack? No, I'm did? saving it for a natural one. Yeah, yeah. Well, fair enough. This is no, me we're talking about. Natural, natural auto no, a natural run's an automatic failure. Yeah, Why would you it? Fail won't matter. Yeah, oh, it so won't matter. Oh, so you can't either. use it on a natural one? Mm -mm. Correct. No. I'm the only one who has an ability. I have my dodge ability. Okay, yeah. well, I'm still going to save it for that. That's fine. Go for it. Alrighty. At the end of your turn, Seika. Taimatsu is going to make a legendary action. He is going to take half of his movement to move to a target with his aggression. He's going to move towards you, Borky. By the way, Borky, you are still on fire. <laughs> oh, I, no. I was assuming. I, appear to uh, I believe I was too, actually. I might need to take fire damage. Yes, you are also on fire. But you're a, but you're and on fire And Panic already. is also on fire. So you take... Yep. Here I am, back at it again. Here I go again on my this own. The Krispy Kreme. You, take, you take two points of fire damage reduced down to one because of your resistance. Ouch. <laughs> and he is going to... Yeah, he's going to attempt to shove Borky. Oh, is he now? And his shove is special. It gives him 10, 10 feet instead of five. Oh, jeez. Well, he's going to try to so, push you off the edge. Oh Borky, <laughs> roll a... Athletics or acrobatics of your choice. If you do athletics, it's with advantage as he's going to attempt to compete athletics against you. Oh boy. Oh, is he now? Okay. All he's right. Very strong. So here we go. His hands are on fire. Worlds on fire. How about yours? Just the way I like it. And I never feel bored. Yeah. 22. You are you by two. You were you you as he goes to like oh, with his foot tries to chuck Let's you. Go. Off. You grab his foot and twist his foot, and he goes <sighs> as he stares towards you. That ends his legendary action. Remy, it is now your turn. You done fucked up. All right, hey, like, I'm locked up. He got I, him locked I'm gonna, up. I'm gonna We're move to wrestling. panic. Bonus, bonus action, water skin to put out the fire. It takes an action to do that. It can't be a bonus action. Oh, you let me do it as a bonus action last time. Oh, it shouldn't have been. It should have been your action. Oh, all right. Well, then I'll. It literally says in the stat block it has to take an action to be put out. So. All right, got it. Well, I'll take the action to do that. Okay. As oh, you. Thank you. Uh, how is he looking on health? Just I don't need a <clears> number. <throat> I just need a. Not great. <laughs> Not great. Well, then I'm gonna bonus action feed him a spell, or uh, feed him a potion. Eat this magic. <laughs> Eat, Eat some magic. Yeah. Uh, Eat you are so, uh, Connor. I need you to roll two d four plus four because I'm going to burn one of those. Two d four plus four is going to be a total of uh, ten. There you Pretty go. good. Not nice. bad. Not Excellent. bad. It's not bad. Nice. Not bad. Oh Jesus. Uh, all right. So that was bonus action action, and then I'm going to free action speak. Uh. Remy will pull out his sword and shield narratively uh, and stand defensively in front of Panic and the, the egg. Okay. Taimatsu, did you think you had won? Look around you. Your mission here was a fool's errand. And he's going to take a defensive stance. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. It is now Taimatsu's turn. Ruh-roh. Get, uh, uh, get away from Borky. Oh, boy. Get away from Borky. Get away from Borky. He can use a shove grapple as a bonus action ability. How about you don't? <laughs> Please do not. 
It's like the ultimate subjugation playground pushover. Can I <laughs> ask, not to spoil things, but can I ask if I'm able to activate ability an ability? Because this is usually an attack, but this is like a special ability he's doing to me. Well, I'm not deciding on what I'm doing yet. I'm just thinking about what he can do, looking at a stat sheet. So I haven't uh, Usually, yet. though, it'll it'll say if you can use ability as a reaction when it's not your turn. Hmm. So if it says you can use a reaction, then you can use it when I it's not your turn. don't know because the official rules aren't written down in my list. It's Ron Paul's sort of ability. You mean the Western Sky's Howl? Yes. That's a reaction for when you get attacked by a damaging attack. I was curious yeah. if this is counts as an attack, though. No. Shoving and shit does not Sho count. Shoving okay. replaces the attack action. Thank yeah, but much. it's not and an attack itself. Which is yeah. why I wanted the... Just but... He's not going to do that. He's going to cast a spell. Oh, no. Oh, man. He's in close combat, though. Hmm. He, gets he okay. is. It's not 3-5. He, he can cast in close combat. So, one second. Mm. Sorry, I'll give you half a second here. You're fine. Really do it. Here. Plus the charisma that's going to be. That's going to be, yeah. Uh... Sika! Make a wisdom saving throw for me. Oh, here we uh, go. Actually, um, actually, actually, um, actually, uh, uh, his his words are gonna get caught in the throat, and he's gonna cough up magma blood. I'm casting counter spell. Okay, this, this is a fourth go! level. This level is a fourth five. level. Level five. Okay, it goes off. You watch as he points a finger towards you, saying, "says Come here, boy," and nothing happens, and you're like, "Huh?" And he's like. <laughs> What? As, Remy as, and as, are as, start as, laughing. Speaks, as he speaks, the words get caught in his throat. <sighs> he's gonna turn. He's gonna take two attacks towards Borky. Oh, is he now? Yep. <laughs> oh, talk shit. I'm gonna hit your friend. What? Actually, he's gonna. No, he is gonna shove you now. Actually. Oh shit. Yeah, he's actually gonna shove you now. I so mean... go ahead. Another athletics check. Come on, buddy. We believe. Uh, you got this. Boy, thank, God, God, I'm, no! thank God I'm raging because I got advantage on this bad boy. Come on, yeah. buddy. You got yeah. it. Yeah. Come on, big guy. <laughs> 25. Oh, no. 25. That's 25. That's 25. 25. 18. You, he, goes to, he goes, he grabs your neck and tries to show, like, he's, like, pushing you up against, like, your back. Like the back of your head and shoulders are like over the edge as he's like trying to push you and says, just fall as he shoves you and you just like manage to twist his arm and ah, he brings himself back up and you are back on your feet and you are totally fine. <sighs> With his second attack, he's going to swing down on you though. He's going oh, to I don't blame use, him. Uh, he's going to use his tunable. I think that's the right word for it. I can't remember. The, cannibal? The cannibal. Con cannibal? Cannibal? Ca ca cannibal. Big stick. Big stick. Everything sounds flowery in Japanese, even big stick. He's gonna hit him with his healing stick. That's why I like transliterating like special attack moves from shonen anime. Right? Uh, when you put it in English, it doesn't sound nearly as cool. Wow, he's having the. I'm rolling like garbage now. Uh, well, your Phoenix, Phoenix was, rolled amazing. My Phoenix is rolling amazing, and now the guy who has worse stats is not as good. Fuck. Yeah, mm. it's like he's a bitch. Fifteen Whoa. to hit, Borky. That hits, but I'm gonna Reaction. activate dodge ability. Right. <laughs> to the roll. side. So it still hits, unfortunately, because I rolled the second attack. So. Oh. It means I roll it again, and if I roll a lower number, I have to take the lower number. So it basically, means he rolled a disadvantage. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I rolled. I rolled a 17 as the second one, but the go. first one does hit. Do no, oh, good, good try. But no, I thought, oh, I thought I dodged this, though, because she had to roll. Well, dodge dodged. makes him roll it again. All right, I got also, it. Also, what's your AC out of curiosity? 14. Is it? I thought we upped yeah, your AC. That feels Sport. weird. That doesn't feel right. 14 on my character. You before we left. You, sh you should yeah, have I thought, less I, AC I, than me. No, but that's the thing. I, I, I don't your know. Your AC should be 16, because I remember we gave you armor. I got a piece of armor and only added plus one. I don't know what I had before that. Again, if it's not on the character sheet, I don't know what it is. What's the armor? So your oh. new, so it would, it would override your natural armor. It was there is no armor on his sheet. Yep, that didn't. Well, that's, that's gone now that's too. That's a problem. Same with same with the magical item, and that's why I was asking earlier. 
it was mithril but not something like that it was the mithril but not sort of armor. bone armor yeah a, yeah it's mithril. not applying your unarmored like your unarmored shits but if you apply the armor no the uh, the armor wouldn't have canceled it. we looked this up he would have gotten his unarmored and the uh, the armor which is why i think 16 instead of 15. that doesn't make any sense that, that makes no sense it, yeah, it, was, it was the speed it was the speed that was unaffected was not the, his okay, armor the yeah the, un yeah, yeah, the unarmored is movement is what? affected what oh i'm getting messaged by frog is mom hold on uh oh it was dragon scale mail so for base scale mail plus is dex bonus so scale mail gives you i'll look it up yeah uh scale mail is medium armor it is yeah uh 14 plus your dexterity to a maximum of two i think so yes your ac so, i just put it in your inventory so your what's AC your dex is 16. it's 16, My so 16 now so, that misses. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm not crazy. <sighs> yes. That ends oh, Taimatsu's turn. <laughs> oh, boy. Was denied. His You're welcome, was Kurt. Denied, and his attack was denied. Fuck. He is fuming. It's Grekles. almost like he's being is, subjugated. Is, is, is it my turn? It is Greckles' turn. You're All after right. Greckles. Um, Monty, how high would we would, would anyone need to cross in order to not take damage from that fire? Like, uh, I would oh. say probably about 10 feet up. Just avoiding the flames. It'll get a little warm, but your your frost salamander will help Ooh. you at least with that. But if you're going through the flames, it's like, you know. Oh, no, not directly. Um, I got yeah. 60. So just basically add 10 to whatever my current movement is if I was going through here. You're to going avoid 40. It. You're going 50. Yeah, right. so 50. Okay, yeah. that's fine. Um, shoot. Uh, you know what? Screw it. Um. I'm going to use my bonus action to dash. Oh, um, sorry. I just realized I forgot to turn off Gerbs' fogger. Uh, oh, 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 oh. That is a moist froge. Extra it's moist froge. A moist froge. She's, she's way too moist. Sorry, continue, yeah. Greckles. Okay. I apologize. Uh, I still got, yeah, I still got uh, mirror image up. I keep forgetting about that. Uh, so I will expend 50 of 120 feet to get... Actually, I can't get here, can I? Oh, that is, you can stand there, yes, I'll say. Okay. Uh, in you. that case, I will use 35, 45 to flank with Borky. Okay. Uh, and just, just those, those wings just streaming in light, pulling out the sun blade, streaking behind, just bring it down right through his back. All right, go ahead and roll the hit. <laughs> oh, nope. Hearing you come on the flight Aww. of the wings, he turns around and grabs your arm as you try and bring down the sun blade on him, and he just stares at you, his face maybe three inches from yours, and his eyes, all four of them, narrowing towards you, and he says nothing as he throws you back, and you kind of spin in the air, and you foom, 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 and regain your, your composure. Uh, I will just narrow my eyes and smile back. Move 20 feet back. And 60 feet straight up. Okay. And that will he be is, turn. He is going to take a legendary action, use aggressive to move half of his speed. And he's going to spend two points of his legendary action mm -hmm. to cast a fireball centered on himself. Oh, so, no. Da, 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 da. Son of a bitch. Sorry, I should have had these spells out sooner. You're good. I'm a bad DM. No, Bonnie, don't even joke about that. That's not funny. 20. And it's not eight. true. That's true. We've it's proven Borky, you are not going to get hit by this. Yay. Remy, Remy Greckles. I'm, in, I'm 60, Greckles I'm 60 feet, up. feet in the air. <laughs> you are 60 feet up in the air? I okay, am 60, 60, feet, 60 feet straight up. Yep. So Remy, panic. Yep. You know what? If that's the case, then he will probably only move about here then. And then he will catch Borky as well. Okay. Just because oh, he was aiming for fine. you a little bit. Ah, oh, jeez. So, well, yeah. what they beach. All right. He would know you're in the air. I forgot. Yeah, you yeah. No, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. So Remy, panic, yep. Borky, dexterity saving throw. This is not a trap, Borky, so it's just a straight roll for you. All Come right. on, guys. You can do it. Uh, Remy, if ever you're going to pass a dex save, now would be a great time to do it. 13. Oh, yeah. oh, 26. oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Nice. 
I might live. 15. <laughs> Borky and Remy, you failed. Panic, you succeed. Oh, that's huge. <laughs> Panic goes, hooray. <laughs> also, let's control the con. Let's I appear to be more on fire. So, Panic, you're still good. I can try. I concentrated on oh, the spell. Thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, excuse me. Remy, Borky, you take 29 points of fire damage. Oh, Jeez. I don't. No, the fuck I don't. Absorb elements. Fuck you, dude. You take half of that, so you take yes, 14 points of fire damage. And Panic, 14. you take 14 points of fire damage and then reduced again to seven points seven. of fire damage. As around Taimatsu's feet, this massive explosion of fire erupts around him, catching all of you. But you manage to kind of come out of it unscathed. That is his legendary action for the turn. That brings us to, I believe that was after uh, Greckles' Gre turn. It is now mm -hmm. Borky's turn. Borky just, you kind of see in the back room, Borky literally pop, 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 pops open a cold one, you know? Pops open a cold one, the potion, the biggest potion. <laughs> the 8d4 plus 10. I used to do right. that. Go ahead and roll 8d4. I, I lose an action. I lose an 8d4 that, plus that's 10? That's your bonus action. You still would have your action if you want to do stuff. Mm -hmm. Good. I will need an 8d4 plus 10. And... Mm. Sorry. Not 8d8. 8d4. And that is... Uh, oh, whoa. 30. Nice. You that's get pretty good. For, you get healed for 30 points of health. There you go. <laughs> you still have your action and your movement. Good, because Borky's feeling a little bit motherfucking reckless, Borky immediately just bounces here i come and borky goes up right behind with ron fault reckless attack with advantage okay you're gonna go friend okay frenzy attacks all right go for it yeah advantage. come on oh, 24 Ooh, yeah. that hits go buddy go 11 plus 3 14 14 points one second let me calculate damage here real fast nice all right first swing hits you slash him up against the back as the fire just erupts second swing go ahead Flourish! 25! That hits. That hits. Yeah. 12 plus 3, 15. 15 points of damage. He definitely feels that as you slash into his back twice. He... Ugh, disgusting vermin! And he just, like, spins around. The flames kind of catch you a little bit. Borky, your hair is quite singed, by the way. There is this really pungent smell of burnt hair in here. Borky's just oh. laughing right now. Ah, he's on fire. Borky's literally on fire right now. The you are, actually, are going to be really upset. I have the shiniest meat bicycle. Borky, you take uh, seven points from being on fire as well, so. Uh, as you do. Yep. All righty, that ends your turn, Borky. Yep. All right. Legendary action, aggressive, I um, think. So, question for you. Mm -hmm. um, using aggressive, does that use a legendary action point? No, it's part of it. So, the, basically okay. what he has is that if he, he can't walk away from an enemy, he can only walk towards also, an enemy. Okay. How how many legendary actions does he have per turn? Because he already used three, right? He did use three. Well, it got back to his turn. Oh, Are wait, no, you're correct. No, yeah. we're not on his turn yet. We haven't gotten I never fucking went. No, he, he, no, has... he, yeah, he used his turn, turn order. to try and... He used his turn to try and shove Borky. Then yeah. he came over to us, used two legendary actions to cast Fireball on himself. Yeah. Which, that's yes. three, and then we haven't no. gotten back to Seika, so we're not at the top it of was, the turn. Well, guys, he gets his legendary actions back on his turn. So he started the combat, Seika went. Then he had a legendary action, because that was just from the previous turn. Then Remy went... Then Taimatsu went, start of his turn, he got the, the three ones back. Greckles went, two legendary actions. Borky went, he can do another one now. Because okay, he has, he has, he's recharged. So, aggressive, so that's says, gotcha. yeah. aggressive says he has to move towards an enemy. Does it say that it yeah, doesn't provoke if he moves out of melee contact? He will, get, he will provoke an attack, yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, so aggressive, he can only move towards enemies. He can't move away from enemies. It's a specific thing. He can only use half of his movement as well. This is specific... Aggressive is an orc ability, I believe. Knolls yes, might yes, have it, it is. too, oh, okay. but this okay. is a this is a tweaked version, so it's not you know incredibly right. busted. Right. Yeah, so he can move with half of its movement towards an enemy and then take whatever action is a legendary action. This is just part okay. of it. The flip side of that is he only has two legendary action actions he can mm. take. That's the trade off. He's gotcha. just a subjugator. He pursues you. Right. So just to give you an idea, design wise, what what he does. Yeah. So I mm. thank you. He is going to move. 
seeing, hmm. Maybe he won't move though, because Borky will get an attack of opportunity on him. That is sure true. Will. He's gonna mm -hmm. swing at you, Borky. You ah. son of a! Oh, he's mad about that. He did miss you, and that's kind of annoying. He's gonna he's gonna hit you with his kind of bow. Oh, is he? Oh. He's gonna try to. That is going to be a twenty-five. So. Yes, that does hit me. Ouchies. This thing hurts. Ooh. Half damage though. Ten. Hooray! Blood. Hooray, you take, impact. You take you take 16 points of bludgeoning damage, which is cut in half down to 8 points, and an additional... Six, 13 points of fire damage to you, Borky. Oh. Oh. And that ends his legendary action. That brings us now, he's used all of them now at this point. Task, it is now your turn. Hooray! So, I wanted to ask this question well before we got into this. Was I capable of passing Hunter's Mark onto him because I took down the Phoenix? I will say, with your bonus action on this turn, you can, because now you can see him. Sure, fine. He's... Yeah. Put it on him. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I'll say it won't cast a spell slot for you, but, you know. That's because fine. It's... Yeah. Yeah, I, I, right. th 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 that wouldn't have pissed me off if I had to oh, anyway, dear, you but got whatever. Him. Some may All argue right. that technically the Phoenix isn't dead, so you should still have the Hunter's Mark on it, but I mean, that's bug it was defeated that's in lame. combat, it is no longer a yeah, target yeah. enemy. So I, 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 was going to, I was going to make a joke that if we throw the egg off the fucking side, will it, like, no! Statue of Liberty... Oh my god! <laughs> will it Statue of Liberty on top of a fucking <laughs> hobgoblin? Do oh, not come into my home and throw my and god off And throw my cliff. god into oh the lava? God. <laughs> Do you not throw your gods into lava in you this know, land? Shoot him! Shoot him. All right, I'm gonna shoot him with sharpshooter, and if this fucks up, I have a plan. Oh, All right, God. come on, baby. Ooh. Ooh. I have a plan. Reroll. Ooh. Oh, if thank you. You're gonna use if re you're gonna use yes, re yes, I am. All right, hey, don't go ahead and reroll. Use yours. No, yeah, he'll use yours, use yours to <laughs> use AOS, not if. Come on. Nineteen. Ooh. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> minus five. Did you want yeah. to do sharp? Yeah, that's unfortunately gonna miss. Minus five is gonna uh, make it a fourteen. Okay, I'm so gonna try it all right, second shot. Come on, baby. Oh, oh nice. Jesus. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Wow. All right. Okay, roll 20, I roll understand. One. You know what? Just because this isn't an ability he has, but just because this would be really fun, and I also re rolled really high on the critical failure. Roll damage for me. Oh, Do I hit no. Borky? Fuck. No, just roll damage for me. Seven. As you fire the arrow, Taimatsu catches it and stares at you, and it just breaks in his hand, and he crunches it up and just stares at you, doing no damage. Okay, well, I'm gonna move 25 feet dis away, uh, 30 feet dis away. Okay. That's turn. All right, that brings us around to panic. It is now your turn. You're feeling a little spicy. Fuck. You know what? Uh, he sort of pulls a he pulls out a flask of a where is it? It's here somewhere. I'll find it. Uh, he pulls out a, a greater healing potion, and he says, "You know what, Taimatsu? Since you and your brothers were so curious before they died, uh, how would I like to die?" Well, <clears throat> and he'll start walking over this way. In my own bed, around the age of 150. And then he'll chug down the greater healing potion. That is 44 plus 4. Yes. Yes. Uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. 27. There you go. <clears throat> All right. He'll, he'll throw the bottle on the ground, it shatters. With a belly full of wine and someone's mouth around my you get the idea. And I'll I'll cast telekinesis. Okay. Hell yeah. I was wondering where you were going with this. <laughs> That's how I would like to die. However, so what are you oh. I am just going I'm going to raise him into the air. Okay, can you click telekinesis for me? Yeah, you're not going to get the luxury of choice. 
There you Jesus. go. Uh, Wall of text, the spell. A, a creature lifted a creature lifted upward is suspended in midair. On subsequent turns, I could use my action to attempt to maintain my telekinetic grip on a creature by repeating the contest. So you have to you have to make a contested strength check against him. It is a, it is his strength versus my charisma. Yeah. I hope you're extra sexy today. So the DC is what seventeen. Uh, the, There's no, no DC. It, it's, 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 all yes. it. it's, con it's contested against my charisma roll. All right. So it's his strength versus my charisma. It's strength versus strength. Here we go. He and I mean that in terms of what yeah. you're both good at. Come on, Connor. Come on. Come on, baby. Drop a train on him. Oh, oh, roll Christ. 20 I'm going, I'm you. Going, I'm going to use my inspiration to reroll. Let's go. Okay. Aspect Let's go. of death, reroll. Come on. Come on, baby. Oh, 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 son of a bitch. Come on. The nat 20 on the other side. He rolled a 17. As you <laughs> flex your hand up to lift, you watch as he does not move and simply looks at you. I fucking hate you, roll 20. Uh, yeah, that's going to be my turn. All right. Seika, you have the grip on him, though, or does he, he doesn't resist it by not succeeding, right? Yeah, no, he he completely nullifies all effects. Oh, he I'm does. Con okay. Yeah, I'm still concentrating on it though. So okay. he could try it, it again on the next turn. Yeah, this all is right. concentration for up to ten minutes, so I can keep yep. trying on each of my turns. Seika, it is now your turn. Um, with an acrobatics check and a running start, can I attempt to leap high enough over the gap to avoid damage? Yeah, absolutely. Go ahead and roll an acrobatics check for me. Uh, 19. Yeah, easy enough. You run and poof, through the flames emerge on the other side. He carries on. All right. And thanks, Zito. Solid <laughs> reference. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> the noise and confusion. I um, guess I'm on the wrong desolution. Y'all done? No. Oh, I forgot that to was the my wrong chat. song. Oh, no. Monty, what no. are you doing today? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm Are very focused. First Gerbs, now no, Goblin. No, 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 no. Go, go for it. Keep going, Seika. It's still your turn. Okay, punching. All right. Launch. Natural yes! 20! Yes! Oh, oh, Seika! Go. Oh, I all right, all right, all right. It's, it's making up for all the low rolls. All right. That's going to be 13 damage. 13 points of damage as you deck him in the face. Pounch. Second pounch. <laughs> Yo, oh yo, my god. Let's go! Oh let's my let's god. Get out of here. Why is this? Mark, just, just, Mark I see you are how anti it Mark. Is. This is, I'm, I, you guys are going to have to check and make sure I'm not a pod person. As Woo! you punch, fire erupts throughout the battlefield, spraying across the roof. As you punch again, an uppercut, more fire flares up as, as Taimatsu is literally backstepping. Borky, you have to back up as well as he's like, ah, and you punch him again. That's wow. All right, all right, all right. More damage. Didn't yeah, show more you damage. Can. Um, and I'm gonna spend a key point as a bonus action to take dodge. Okay, you bring up your fists. You're also on fire. Yep, that's okay. You're gonna take eight points of fire damage reduced to four. That I didn't want to ride the luck too far. <laughs> I was like, dude, I, I don't want to. I don't want to roll again. <laughs> Remy, it is now your turn. Excellent. Hang on just a second. Uh, all right, I'm gonna move over here, and I'm gonna use okay. my action to put out Borky. Okay. <laughs> uh, Thank you. And then I'm gonna go right here, uh, and okay. I am going to speak again. Okay. Really, Taimatsu, you're embarrassing yourself. Just surrender. And that'll be turn. All right. That brings us to Taimatsu's turn. And before I get to his turn, I'm going to feed my cat really quick. I'm so sorry. Oh, go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Go be right back one second. Small mini, the children. Very, very quick. Like, like five seconds. Oh, hi, Mom. Hi, no. I know, honey. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No. Mom, what the fuck? Dude, I just gotta say, it's kind of making up for all the low rolls. I was gonna say, like, the you look entire about fucking campaign. It's making up for all of his Rolo, low rolls. Rolos? 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 Yeah. Rolos. I love Rolos. Rolos. They are chocolatey and caramely goodness, and I wish I had one to, in order to cope with Roll20 farting me in the butt. That is, that, that's wow. quite the talent. That's a reverse fart. 
Yeah, it, it's farting in my butt to make me fart. By the way, fart. for those playing the home game, the theme song for tonight is Fire by the Ohio Players. It's true. It's a very nice. old reference, but if you know it, you know it. Or alternatively, Fire by Scooter. Not gonna lie, I kind of like. It's it's a it's a little cliche, but for for episode title, dude, from the ashes is kind of nice. I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. literally in, mo yeah. in many ways, it makes sense. Beautiful. Yeah, it was still a was. great scene, yeah, but it was lessened by the fact that I rolled so low. I know it's okay. No, <laughs> no, okay. no, you're doing great, Connor. All right, children have been fed. So Excellent. Job. Let's go. All right, it is Taimatsu's turn. Taimatsu is going to cast Branding Smite on himself. Oh, oh, okay. I know what this is doing. That's, yeah, I do too. Uh, Maybe. fuck you again. Let's go, Connor. Shut the fuck you, Taimatsu. Counter. <laughs> okay. Shit. It fizzles away. There goes his bonus action. And he just turns to you and goes. <laughs> he's gonna take uh he's gonna take two swings against you, Seika, because those two natural twenties fucked him up pretty hard. Sure. Uh I did take dodge for what it's worth. You did, yeah. So it's a disadvantage? Yes. Correct. Yes. Yep. Okay. Yep. Natural one. Oh yes. boy. Stupid. I'm gonna roll I'm gonna roll severity. This is Okay, he just misses, unfortunately. He mm. rolled a two in severity. Hey man, I'm so he head. swings with his scimitar, and you just duck underneath, and he goes, ah, and he brings down the uh, combo ball with his other hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's definitely going to hit. That's a 29 to hit. Uh, does disadvantage only apply on the first attack? Oh, wait, hold on. No, it okay. applies second through all attacks all, for all the whole attacks. round. Yeah, yeah uh, it's the entire round. 24, it's still going to Okay, that'll still hit. It's still going to hit, yeah. All right, that is... Dangba. Okay. Dangba. 14 plus... 20 points of bludgeoning damage. Ow. And... Jesus. 11, 12. 15 points of fire damage cut in half down to seven for you. Cool. And he couldn't cast a spell, so that ends his turn. Woo! Greckles, it is now your turn. Let's go, Grex. Okay. Um. You got allies Greg everywhere. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Big attack. I'm uh. I'm gonna drop down. Hang on. I'm 60 up, and it's 60. No, 15 across. Uh. I'm going to use movement to drop down to 60, 40, 30, 40. Flying is is weird. 40. Uh, 40. Yeah. 45 feet. I'll, I'll write this down. Um, okay. 45 Unfortunately, feet. we love roll 20, but this is the one thing it can't do is do the flight really? stuff, whereas with yeah. the real life game, you have the platforms, but it's, you know, that's what you it's all. Use. It's all good. I got rid of it. So I'm 45 up. Uh, okay. I'm going to use my bonus action to down one of my... Where are you? I know I have you. I know I have three of you. Where are you? There we go. Uh, 2d4 plus two pots. Okay. So let me take that off. And 2d4. Hey, that's pretty Ooh, good. That's not bad seven, at all. Nice. Seven, eight, nine. Puts me to that. That's much that's better. Six is afraid of seven. Ah. Yeah. I do hate you. And, oh, roll 20. I don't know what you're doing. Uh, you know what? He's been going good. I'm going to drop down Todd. Okay. So Todd's this is team Nick. You hear Nick, you hear Nick in your voice go, hey, man. I just, bro, you know, I... Bro. Oh, your weight, Nick. Go, Todd. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. All right, go ahead, throw. Let's go, 28. Todd. Hey. That is, that is Todd squad. Nine this is, plus. This is a big blow for team. Yes, this is huge. 14, Long. so 23. Oh, catastrophic for Nick stocks. Oh, yeah. I'm so, I'm so upset. Nick stocks. <laughs> Nick coin. <laughs> Todd you squad. strike down, and you watch as, as Taimatsu goes to grab and pull Todd out of his shoulder. It just disappears from his hand and reappears in your hand. All right, that's turn. All right, you are... How high off the ground are you currently, just so 40, I know? 45 feet. Okay, got it. 
All right, that brings us now. Greckle is at the end of your turn. He's going to take two legendary actions to cast another level two fireball at him. I need everyone around him to make a dexterity saving throw for me. Let me please. Evasion count. I am sorry. Let me please. Oh, no. I'm going to oh, use. Oh, no. I can't use inspiration. Oh. No. Cool. Is it is it regular fireball radius, Monty? Yeah, it is. Okay. All it's right. entered Actually, on him. That is quo. Though. Okay. Oh, I was gonna hit Sing, uh, Borky, and Remy. So, right. Borky, That's Remy, I need dexterity saving throws as well. Come on, please. That's a failure, unfortunately. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he has a twenty DC, I think, right? Jesus Christ! Uh, it's eighteen. It should be. So. Uh, eighteen. <laughs> Dang. No. All right. I still take half of half Fuck because of shit. That's gonna be ninety-six. Ow. Ooh, this is a nasty one. All right, Seika, Borky. Borky, you take 38 points of fire damage. Borky, wait. Am I able to use that scroll to cross it in half? You, you can, yes, as a reaction. You can, yes, you can. I, hit a, I whip out the scroll. Oh, shit. Hold it up inflectively, the block. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's how scrolls scroll scroll absorbs the fire, so instead you're going to only take... Uh... B -b 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 Sorry, I can't brain right now. You're okay. What was the number? 18, I believe, points of damage. 18? 18 is half? Uh -huh. I think it's 18 is half. Hold on. I can't math. What was, the, what was, what was the, the main number? number? Oh, it's 19. Sorry. You take 19 points of damage instead, oh, Borky. Yeah. Uh, Seika, you take 38 points, reduced in half, half cut to in 19. Half. Cut, it cuts in half twice because of evasion. Okay. So cut night. So and cut, then uh, it's and regular half. fire damage too, right? So, so it gets you failed cut in half you again did, you, because of fire you, resistance. You completely failed the dexterity saving throw. Can you click evasion for me real fast? Yeah, I just, I can evasion. Yeah, you, but it's, evasion reduces the half. damage by half from dexterity yep. saving throws. If he had succeeded, he would have taken none. He would have taken none. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Sorry, I'm just trying to pilot. So you're okay. okay. You take half from evasion, so that's mm -hmm. gonna be 19, and then half from your resistance. Right. So that's gonna bring it down to nine. Or sorry, uh, yeah, nine. Nine. So you take nine points of fire damage. Remy, yep. uh, you also take 38 points of fire no, damage. No, I don't, because I cast Absorb Elements, so I'm going to take that 19. You, you take half, so you take 19. As <laughs> this thing flares out again, and you guys are, you guys are scorched. Your, your armor is blackened. Your bodies are like, your feathers are singed. Your hair is burning. Seika's fine. His clothes uh, yeah, are a little Yeah, I was like, I made it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Peace. That ends just the legendary made me naked, action. which makes me more powerful. That ends the legendary action of Taimatsu. That's going to bring us around now to Borky. It is now your turn. Oh, my God. Well, crack my neck here. Borky just roars, top of his lungs. The biggest roar he can. Whoops up, Ron Fault. Reckless attack. I'm going all in. All in! All right. All, all in! Damage. Ah! 18! You're flanking. You're flanking. You're flanking. 20. 20. But it wouldn't matter because 18 should hit him. 18 just hits, yeah. So go ahead and roll damage. Bank. 8 plus 3. 11, 11 points of damage. He's starting to look kind of winded now. Borky's not done. He's roaring. Again, second attack. 20. Yeah. 22. Good. Uh, Zito, that won't apply until he comes out of his rage, so he doesn't need to use it until then. Okay, fair enough. Just wanted yeah, to double check. Yeah. Uh, 20 right. hits, 6 points plus 3. That's 9 points of damage. And again, one more One more force. attack. Friends ah! of Rage. 19, 19 plus 2. Yeah. That hits. Go ahead and roll damage. Boom, boom, boom. Chip, Get chip, his chip, ass. chip, 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 chip. 11 plus 3. 14. Let's go! 14 points. It's going to bring it down. To there we go. You slash, you slash again, and he tries to block it. You headbutt him, and he backs up. You slash against the center. You slash against his arm, fire just spitting and erupting around you. As Taimatsu is on the back foot, he is looking winded and paranoid. That ends your turn, Borky? Yes, it does. Oof. Task, it is now your turn. Let me hit, let me at least attempt to hit this guy normally. Yeah, you got okay. this. Mm-hmm. There you go. 22. Good that call. hits. Good you call. still do a lot of damage. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. my god. 
11, 12, 16. 16 points Good of call. damage. You got your big shots in. Just hit them. Bang, bang, bang. You see as you land the arrow right in the back of his shoulder. He is just getting bombarded. And he's... <sighs> each time he breathes, there's just a spew of fire that comes in and out of his breath. Oh, but wait. There's more. Let's go. Yeah, Let's that go. Is. Let's go. Oh, my go. God. Oh, come on, baby. damage. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, weird. Oh, that's all right. Oh, oh. It's all right. That Bang. He, on that first hit, he's looking pretty rough. All right. At the end of Tass's turn. I had a free, uh, I want a free action say something. Yeah, absolutely. I'm going to have to roll anyway, something anyway. So go ahead. Well, today we'll find out if a fire dragon's more powerful than a fire oni. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Dude, I didn't realize that this entire party had vicious mockery. I'm right? moving over here, by the way. We are, we are ruining okay. him. Legendary action. He. Last one. I rolled randomly to see who he would swing for. He's going to swing towards you, Remy. Good. Uh -huh. Oh, my fucking God. Natural one. Let's Whoa. go! Whoa. Don't at yeah. me, bro! Oh, God. 18 severity. Shit. What do you want? Oh. How do you want it? Okay, hold on. I'm going to think about this. Okay, okay. Take your time. It's all right. Ooh. Okay, Remy. Yep. Go ahead and roll a long sword attack for me with advantage. Okay. Yo, please get a 25. Uh, uh, uh. That 25. hits. Go ahead and roll damage. It's an 11. That's max damage. You watch as he goes to swing down for you towards you, Remy. You sidestep and you bring down your sword and you slice off his arm that is holding his scimitar and immediately oh. magma and flame gushes out and he, ah! he grabs the side of where his arm used to be oh. and That's it what... plumps to the ground. Never touch Tobe Kage again. That sucks for him. That was a yeah. high, Damn. high failure. That was, let's just narratively, that was the hand he grabbed you with. Okay. Yeah, it was actually. That brings us to Panic. Panic, it is now your turn. You still have telekinesis up as well. Yep. Uh, can I just do a quick glance to see how, how good everybody's doing on health? Um, what do you guys ever is... bother with me? I mean, I'm, I'm just, I'm just gauging. I mean, I can't meta. Pe are people? Yeah, are people I can't. Hurt? Just, yeah, just tell them I, if you look bad or if you look good. Okay. That's just the best thing you can. Um, Gre Greco's is a little roughed up, but he's doing okay. Ask is uh, having a whale of a time. Seika is having a rough time, uh, but he's all right. Remy's fine. Forky. Uh, for what? What? Sorry, you cut out. What was the question again? Your health. How are you looking? Fine. Good. Bad. Ooh, it's uh, looking out. dicey. All right, dicey. All right, I might as well do this. Um, what if I stand here? Would I be in the lava or? No, no. It, it, you have to be like going over it to take damage okay. from it because it's it's, it's licking flames. So you're just gonna get a little warm in the butt, but that's about it. He's used to it. I will pull out another scroll. Okay. Uh. And I'll I'll look over at Taimatsu and say. I know exactly what you're thinking. You're thinking, how could this happen? All three of your brothers are dead. And you're next. You were just a pawn in someone else's game. I bet that was pretty unexpected. And I'm going to raise up the scroll, open it up, and green magical light will fill my eyes. And I'll cast Mass Cure Wounds. Let's go, Connor! Okay. Roll Mary it. heals for 3d8 plus uh, the spell casting modifier of the person who gave me the scroll. Which I believe uh, was uh, it was someone in Alabast. Yeah, it was. Oh, shit, was, who was uh, it? It was... Uh, it was Log? A, yeah, it was Log. Yeah, it was Log. Was it Log? Oh, yeah, God. It was Log. 
Oh god, that means I have to roll a dice to see what it actually is gonna be. <laughs> oh god. Oh yeah. Now, here we go. Just a giant Alexander fist from Final Fantasy XIV comes from the sky. Even so you one. need the modifier or do you need the stat? Modifier. Uh, the modifier. Need the modifier, okay. Uh, the modifier is going to be a plus six. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Ooh. So it's so he'll, plus he'll, six? Yeah, he'll, he'll, he'll shout out, It seems to me like a journey without end. So many years, too many battles. We finally arrived. Now we're standing at the gates. Heroes of the day. Legends forever! And you will all heal. Hell yeah, Connor. Damn, man. Uh, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 points of damage. Oh, you mean basically just erase the fireball. Bless you. Ooh. Heck yeah, dude. As Let's the go. scroll dissipates, you he you see like a semi-transparent image of Log going, Oriara, and then it disappears. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh yeah. <laughs> Panic for, for a second just goes, huh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like this big epic speech just and then just this adorable voice. <laughs> just log, log rises up through the clouds. Remember who you are, Panic! No. <laughs> uh, All right. And, and as a bonus action, hellfire will rise up through my scars and my eyes and my mouth. And I will, I will activate Mantle of Devilry and I will cast Command Grovel. Okay, that's a wisdom saving throw. It wisdom sure is. Saving throw. Good luck. Okay, that's that's a failure, but he's going to use a legendary resistance to succeed. Fuck. All right, you burned it at least. Good. Uh, All right. I will, then, I will then move back for, uh, thirty feet away, and that okay. will be my turn. I have but I have that and telekinesis up now. So if he has any more legendary resistances, then he's fucked. He is. That brings us around to the top of the turn order. Seika, it is now oh, your Seika. turn. Come on, buddy. Um, I am going to pop a potion real quick here. Okay, you bonus action. Drink a potion. Yep. And that's 4d4 plus 5. Let's go. Ooh, that's not nice. bad. Not there you bad go. All. Cool. Now armed with mighty health. I punch forward, <laughs> ever looking towards the future. And, okay, 17 no. plus two, 17 <laughs> just misses. But you have your inspiration if you want to try. Let's Come on, dude. Come Let's on, 1d10. It. Bring him down, bring 1D10. him down. 1d10, 1D10 baby. Perfect! Yeah! 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 Absolutely hits. Hit. Absolutely hits. Woo! For seven damage. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you punch him in the face with your first attack. Second strike. Oh, oh. Well, oh. It's okay. Key point spent. Here we go. Flurry, Flurry. of blows. Here we go. Good! Oh, so bad. It still hits. It still hits. I know. That, it's that, good. That Come that on, baby. That's going to be... It's thinking about it. Come on, roll 20. Get it together. Thank you. Uh, nice. So eight. 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 There you go. Damage. Okay. One more right. And one more. Uh, 16. Oh, 18. Wait, plus 18. 18. 18. Just 18. hit. Just hit. Oh. Come, on, come on, come on, bring him down. Seven damage. Seika, how do you want to do this, dude? Oh. <laughs> ah, yes. Oh, okay, so after all of that, and after Remy has just sliced off his arm, uh, Seika gives him a kick to the back of the shin, dropping him to his knees, punches the other weapon out of his other hand, and brings an elbow strike to the back of his skull. Okay, you do so, swinging around, and as your fist cracks into his skull, you all watch as the force of the, of the fist shunts all the flame off of Taimatsu. And for a moment, you're like, yes, we did it. We beat him but you forgot one thing. The Oni cannot be killed. And it activates his ability beyond death. When reduced to zero HP, Taimatsu oh, becomes no. unconscious, but can still continue to fight as normal. Oh. So, oh. for context- He's a fucking zealot barbarian? He's sealable, but he can still fight. 
Oh, um, fuck. <laughs> I, but I can see that he is in a state where we can seal him? Yes. Okay. His flames so... are all gone. He is like a brimstone obsidian warrior, and his eyes are just these orange single pinpoint eyes. And you just um, see as his mouth opens, smoke just <sighs> sizzles out, but there's still a will in there to keep fighting. As a free action, I'm going to shout up to Greckles. Greckles, now seal him! You have a seal from from Master Ryusei. That ends your turn, Seika. That's it. It is now Remy's turn. For the sake of this as well, he needs to be successfully grappled in order to be sealed because he will resist physically being sealed. That changes everything. I'm going to try to grapple him then. Okay, go ahead and roll an athletics check. Okay. Can you athletics check? go come on remy please come on, come on buddy. remy five no. <sighs> you try and you try and grapple and you're like wait we can stop him you grab his one good arm and he just grabs you and throws you away and you kind of crash to the ground and scramble back to your feet it's all right i got another attempt here we go Whew. seven oh god, god. Oh, dang he still has to roll oh, here he's we go no he totally is fine okay you tr fuck it. you try and grab him again and he backhands you and you fail Fuck it. Uh, action surge. Thank you. Action surge. I'm okay. getting this motherfucker. Also, I think it's worth noting, I think grappling takes your entire action. You can't do it as a part of an attack. I thought you could do it in replacement of one of your attacks. Which Shove have... is the thing you can replace with an attack, not dra not grappling, I don't believe. I I'll double check, though. Okay. Grappling rules in my D&D? &D? <laughs> what? Crazy. More likely, than, more you likely think. than you think. They, they change every version. <laughs> Imagine, <laughs> imagine if we were playing. Oh God, I don't even want to imagine it. Imagine Pathfinder. if we were playing Pathfinder. Pathfinder. Yeah. Oh, oh, the flow chart. No. Like that. Get the okay, flowchart out. Do you want to the middle of a game? <laughs> Hold on, I just want to check this real fast. Okay. When you want to grab a creature wrestler, you can use the attack action to make a special melee attack, a grapple. Okay, so I'm actually incredibly stupid. So no, you can you can action I surge and take two more attempts. Yeah. Cool. Damn. Remy, yep. please roll above a fucking single digit number. Jesus Christ. Here we go. I believe in you. <sighs> Come on, so buddy. Good. 17. Okay. You okay. managed to swing up behind him and put him in an arm bar, grabbing Just... one of his horns and yeah. slamming it into your chest. He is grappled. He rolled a seven plus seven, which is a 14. Toby, no! Turn. All right. It is Taimatsu's turn. Oh, oh no. Shit. He Wait. is going to attempt to break the grapple. Son of a do, do you not have telekinesis on him? No. Oh, yeah. no. Damn. So we have to do this I mean, again? Uh, yeah, so because I'm check. beside him, can I help Remy? Remy, please. No, you have to do it on your turn, unfortunately. 16? That's plus. Sorry, I can't numbers right now. Four plus. 11. That's that's eleven. That's a failure. He's still oh, grappled. Man. He tries to struggle and get out of your grasp as you hold back his head. He is still grappled. <sighs> Greckles, it is now your turn. Let's go. Greckles pulls out the seal, holds it to his temple, and in a blinding flash, with those porcelain wings like a beam of light. Charges down to Taimatsu, screaming, Kurai! Taimatsu! He slams the seal right on his forehead. As you slam the seal, immediately there's a rush of icy coldness, and you have to pull back your talons. Remy, you let go of Taimatsu as you watch as his form contorts and shifts. A hole opens in the ground, an interdimensional hole. As you watch his physical flaming forward cinder out, you hear him yell out in the uniform voices of all the Oni. What you done does not matter. We will see to it for eternity. You are ours! And you watch as his physical form melts and leaving just behind the bony obsidian skull. Kung, 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 kung. On the ground, the Oni menace has been slain. Fuck yeah. You hear the galloping sound and the triumphs of combat as there's more swinging, and you hear the blaring sound. Um, Task, make a perception check with advantage for me. I can do this for you. If it wants to roll, come on, roll 20, please. 
There we go. Nice. 17 both ways. As a soldier, your background as a soldier, you know that's a call to retreat, and the hobgoblins are currently retreating. Pass like, leers over the side, and you, all of you watch as he holds the bow up over his head, and it disappears as he snaps his fingers. Deed is done, boys. You see, as you look down, Task, you see Vanguard Jade, her horse is, like, back on its back legs, and she's, like, doing, like, a spin, like, the celebration spin with her hammer up in the air and is cheering as the hobgoblins are running and escaping. And as you guys... <sighs> catch your breath. Unfortunately, Timots' additional ability is that you, he doesn't leave anything behind. That's just the nature of his form. Oh, that's fine. Just say, unfortunately, he breaks a seal. And as you guys uh -oh. look to each other, burnt, battered, and victorious, you all level up. Oh, yes. oh fuck yes. yeah. Yes. Level 11, baby. Level 11, baby. Reckles, uh -huh. you unlock multi-classing into either monk or cleric. Mmm, decision. <laughs> oh, Oh, and with wow. that, that is where we're going to end the session for tonight. Oh my All right. God! Bye. Good night, Austin. Austin. Good night, Austin. Bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. Wow. Oh, Level eleven. Eleven, baby. Eleven, yeah. eleven. Um. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk more about it after the fact, obviously. Sure. But sure. what episode was this? One sixty-seven. One sixty-seven. What a journey. What episode did we start this? A long time, like almost a year ago. <laughs> I came in to be on fair. episode 139. Yep, so we've, we've, we've geez, been doing this for almost 30 episodes. episodes. You still got one more, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. How you doing there, Grex? Oh. I, I just say that was the most poetic end of this fight that that so could have been. That was that was great. Taking downs him, Remy grapples him, Toby seals him. That was fucking. Oh, also, man. fucking Borky being a champion and just yeah. being like every possible moment you don't that Taimatsu's like, I will dominate you. Borky's just like, ah, no. Uh, yeah, the counter. The counter. It's just like I remember this. Oh, it's just one of those priests. God, the shove would have been so good because you would have taken a ridiculous amount of damage if you had but actually for who, Monty? Well, I literally <laughs> wanted to see if I could like do the thing where my face out of reality goes, oh shit, and falls into the fire. <laughs> you idiot, fire does nothing to me. <laughs> Gets out of the fire. <laughs> but it's like he's trying to get out of a kiddie pool and he slips and falls back in. Fuck! Okay, hold yeah. on. All right, just gets up, gets his legs up the side, spins it over and stands up. All right. I'm glad I finally got to utilize counter spell. Oh, yeah, dude, yeah. that was clutch. On, on, pe on, people that, on people that aren't my allies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so I now have a choice, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. I could either hit multiple enemies from my target 10 feet away, so I could multi-hit, or I could always make my attacks of any creature within five feet of me always be have advantage if they're within five feet of you jesus honestly yep, you're always man. at range i think multi-attack makes sense you for you. The multi attack is happening yeah <laughs> we'll talk about character stuff afterwards yeah. but for yeah, now yeah. We'll do that probably do our for now yes the man of the hour gaijin goomba oh, where can they find uh, you yeah gaijin Wait, you did it freaking the hell out at this money that was amazing i had to try so hard to not just be like a giddy dumbass gamer Oh you man, dumbass gamer man, I like that. Fine, you can find me at Twitch on TV slash Gaijin Goomba No H. Uh, gonna be playing that Monster Hunter goodness since 3.0 dropped. New ending, new all Ooh. good stuff. God, Mark. Wow, Mark. Uh, Mark. Wow, okay. Mark. Uh, yeah, I just got a new video out talking about the the yokai origins of Big Lady D Dimitrescu or Dimitrescu, uh, from RE Village. Be sure to check that out on the main channel. Um, beat the game first. Yeah, beat the game first because there are spoilers in it. I know. Um, and yeah, you can find me Tuesday, Saturday, Sunday, 7 p.m. U.S. Central. Been also playing Bio Mutant. It's a good game. Give it a shot. <sighs> I need a drink. <laughs> <laughs> Just not right. turpentine. Don't drink that. Everbosca, where can they find you? On the internet. Ed! I see. Uh, Mark Allen Jr., where can they find you? 
Uh, you can find me on twitter.com slash Mark Allen Jr. Here on Twitch at Aeon Pro Tech Gaming. And you can follow the adventures of my fat cat bunny on Instagram at chonk for life uh, You can also find me currently breaking the chat. So enjoy those uh, 100 subs, community. Um, I have had an absolute blast of a time here. And I can't believe we're getting close to the end. Um, I know, it's sad. You've been here for a long it's, time. It's, it's been always wow. been like seven months. Well, what is it, like yeah. half a year? Yeah, over yeah. half a year. A little longer, yeah. yeah. Hey, Mark. What's up? You didn't, unless you really fuck up next session, you didn't die, which I is did. pretty great. Well, I mean, I did. Yeah. Well, well, you did. Let's not mix words welcome here. You're welcome for the um, life that I gave you back. <laughs> thanks, Jeff. <laughs> I'm glad God. you were willing Thank to part with part of your massive diamond. Um, but yeah, uh, probably going to play Final Fantasy X tomorrow. I was debating about potentially going out in the field, but I'm not willing to risk my hand just yet. Yeah, don't do that. Um, and it, it's just, But be aware, if you're in northern Oklahoma tomorrow, pay attention to weather. Um, other than that, I don't have anything else to talk about right now. So yeah, thanks. Excellent. I'm sorry, my brain is is full of fuck right now. It was, Kurt, where yeah, can they find you? I'm not, Kurt, where can they find running you? on a, I'm, I'm not running on adrenaline anymore. Takahata 101, where can they find you? I can find me at twitch.tv slash Takahata 101. Tomorrow, I, the anime Hembo, shall meet the illustrious Crimbo. Now I have I, I should I should I should show you an image of what this Crimbo looks like. Only for only this is only for Zito because I feel like Zito will be like, my god, he's beautiful. <laughs> So one second here, I'm just gonna I'm gonna oh, grab this here and let's drop this. How monster mash we can see. This I, I, I want to get I want to see if I get an audible reaction out of you. So I'm gonna drop this in uh, unexpected general. Just real quick. Oh yeah, probably just mentioned something. Uh, if you if Remy did not apologize, yeah, they would you would not have oh, had yeah. backup and you would have had to still keep fighting potentially. To, oh yeah, like, oh, we would have been oh, fucked. Fuck. <laughs> we would have been so fucked. That's what can I say except you're welcome? Well, you can't, you that, can't say you're welcome for fucking up in the first or place. Or the allies I gave to you. Ew, so full of shit. For owning up to my faults. <laughs> so you can find me at twitch.tv slash Takahata101 tomorrow. We'll be interviewing the person Zito's Deep is inhaling over right now. Man, that's amazing. Yeah, I know, right? I, I stick it, I saw him like, they gotta show up in my bar. I, I see Daw, I see, I see making business with him, brother. I uh and I will <laughs> and uh, I'm not gonna lie, uh, this could be fun, but on Friday I'm playing I'm finishing off It Takes Two with Haru, the 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 Canadian caribou who's not a moose. Mm -hmm. uh, as well, folks, uh, I have a big announcement last week. I'm sponsored by G Fuel now. Woo! Okay. Yay. You're a real gamer boy. Now I am. Now I am, Mark. And that's why and that's how we were able to You got visited by the G Fuel fairy. <laughs> I did yeah. get Heck yes, and they sprinkled a little bit of G Fuel dust on my bed. I can't. Anyways, uh, that's it for me, folks. You can try and find more magical things. Uh, Hiffle episode two is on its way. I recorded for TTS. I recorded for a bunch of abridging stuff. Ah! Oh, and I also recorded for Death Battle. Been a wild week. Anyways. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. Yeehaw. God damn. Yeah. Yeah. That's it for me. All right. Uh, Zito, where can they find you? You find me over at twitch.tv slash Zito, where I'm playing Biomutant. It's a good game. Uh, Karts is going to get a huge update because my sprite artist actually got back to me, so the roster just got larger. Uh, and following up that, uh, Aloysius Guide to Social Acceptance. Uh, it is actually almost done. All the stats are done, so we have like 60 to 68 playable options race-wise if you count subclasses and lineages. Uh... And there's like three pieces of artwork that need to get done, and then just a little bit of lore that needs to get swept swept up, and then a grammar sweep, because uh, Live Studio Brian's actually uh, helping me out with the editing on that bit, because I don't trust myself when it comes to my own editing, so I needed someone else to help me out with that. This book is almost done. It has taken close to five, maybe six months of my life to get done, so almost there. Excellent. Maji Glue, where can they find you? I just want to say before I pitch, good session, guys. Like, oh yeah, the whole Fuck entire yes. arc has been a bit of a gauntlet. Yeah, but I, I'm very proud of all of you guys. Also, um, Money, I have to call you out because you gave me my last name as, as um, <laughs> dude, it's, it's, dude, it's, <laughs> it's, it's uh, yeah, I, I did. It's Torio Toko is literally bird and bird man. man. 
Yep. How dare <laughs> you? How <laughs> dare, <laughs> dare yep. you? I was I was the, muted when the, she the, said the that. The prophecy is fulfilled. When she said that, as you say, I, didn't I was wanna, muted, but I was look, fucking dying. I didn't <laughs> want to ruin the moment, okay? <laughs> this is this is where like this is where you have the gloom effect in your head. <laughs> you don't say that was this is my name, yeah. huh? Motherfucker. Well, realistic freckles. These the this this arc was definitely like a gauntlet, and I mean we've had other arcs. I think I think the Underdark one was really rough, and like the I think all of them have been rough in their own unique ways. Like I think. Tass had probably one of the most deadly dungeons in the entire thing, and then yeah, just baby. The traveling for for panics, and then and then like you know Greckles' whole shit, and then Borky uh, with all of his orc tribe stuff just mm -hmm. inter you know spread through. The arcs are, like, are finally the done. Yeah, all the arcs are done. A lot of people are like, "When's the Borky arc?" Like we literally like, been guys, did you the miss the time. orcs? Like what are you? Yeah. <laughs> no, that the whole the whole thing because of how the backstory was written out because of where Borky came from, it doesn't really make a it lot of sense. Work. No, it, it doesn't, doesn't work. No, it doesn't work. How else? Why Borky? It's kind of like this is Borky's backstory right now. This whole well, I adventure. asked you. I'm like, hey, are you cool with this? And you were like, yeah, this sounds great. And I was like, Perfect. All right, well, especially thing. when you explained to me how limiting that would be because of where he came from. I'm like, oh yeah, no, no, we'll just do the movie. We'll do it as a movie. It's fine. Guys, the arcs are over. Stop. <laughs> Yeah, the Borky's are. big score. Stop. But uh, as for me, you can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter. You can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. Tomorrow is going to be Majora's Mask. We're starting Majora's Mask. It's also probably been the longest time I'm ever going to play an N64 because I've actually not played long term an N64 before. So I have to set that up and get ready to do that tomorrow. If there's any problems, there is a chance we might have to cancel. Um, and then Sunday, I'm playing yeah. Resident Evil 8 with Bosco. If you have not seen it, the VOD is on uh, Twitch. I'll try and upload it to YouTube. It's a dumb time. It's it's a really good game, though. It's very beautiful to look at. Um, so definitely check that out. I won't spoil anything. Um, and then the other thing, too, if you haven't seen it on Twitter, I finished my helmet. My protogen head is done. It looks so good. Once I get, yeah, I'm so happy it with it. really good. When it's uh, once I have my wireless headphones, then we can I can do uh, helmet streams. So you guys can check that out. And we can just hang out. I might do some D and D stuff. I might do some other stuff. It's gonna be kind of a random bag, but yeah. So no, how you feel? Yeah. Well, it's comfy. It's super comfy. There's like three mm -hmm. fans in there. The problem is, is that if I don't have headphones, like my voice echoes back, and like the fans are loud, right? So it's just like mm. that's the nature of it. But yeah, that's that's it for me. Excellent. And they can find me on. Twitter, Twitch, and wait a minute, did I get everybody? I think you did. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You can find me on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube.com slash Distortion Devil. I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Uh, Tuesday, uh, we're playing more Path of Glory, Age of Sigmar. Uh, we're 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 doing our Path of Glory campaign. I'm playing the Sylvaneth Army, the Vegan Police. Uh, that's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, Friday, Friday Funhouse, where I just play a bunch of fun party games with my friends. Saturday, playing through Yakuza before Gateway this Saturday on twitch.tv slash The Unexpectables. Uh, and uh, Sunday, I'm going to be guesting once again over at uh, youtube.com slash d6dr as Sorako, the Air Genasi Barbarian. That's going to be a lot of fun. Be sure to check out Dead House Sonata, game I've been working on for a while. Uh, be sure to check them out. They just revealed some more of their in-game models uh, for the vampires specifically, and they look fantastic. Be sure to check them out. Twitch.tv slash Deadhouse Sonata. Uh, if you're at all inclined to purchase it, follow that link. Some of that money gets thrown back to me. Speaking of money for me, uh, check out my DMs Guild as well, uh, where I release 5th edition subclasses, including uh, the Hellfire Soul Sorcerer, which I just released earlier this month. And be sure to check out next month for the Augmented Artificer, where, uh, have you ever wanted to be Adam Jensen in D&D? Good, now you can. Have some shoulder-mounted missile launchers. Have a Mega Man blaster. One of the abilities is called Maximum Overdrive. Buy it. Fuck yeah. <laughs> uh, but that's it for me and the, the people who have helped us all the way through this long, long arc. <laughs> Wait, 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 I want to, yeah. I want to, I want to participate. Hold on. Okay. Everybody, get your dice out and shake them in front of the camera if you got them. I can't. The camera? No, there's no cameras here. Microphone. Uh, I have a camera in front of me, but it's not on. Microphone is what I meant to say. But anyway, die hard dice. Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, easy now.
That's what right. Like to- hey, I rolled a nat 20. What is it? What? <laughs> Die hard. Dice has been with us for so long, and we're so thankful for their success. Uh, Die hard dice. Oh, beautiful. Oh. Oh, hello, oh. Connor? We're Connie. losing Connor. Connor, no. Connor. Beautiful he metal and polymer dice constructed of the finest materials in all of the realms. Remember to use the promo code TAS to receive 10% off your order while supplies last. And there's a lot of supplies. There Just is. Like there's the also... New, uh... There is... There's dice trays, magnetic dice trays that are really nice. I actually ended up using my magnetic one and my mat today, actually, for both. For the big, it looks big really, damage really nice. in the mat. It's so nice. I, uh, I use... Diane almost my, got me. My favorite... <laughs> <laughs> personally, my current favorite set is the Celestial Archon. I got these, and they look really, really, really pretty. Um, and I also have the Silver Dracona set as well. The Dracona dice are really, really nice. Um, and they're very high quality and they're really good. If you want just a standard, like standard plastic set of dice, they are just as good. Very, very pretty. Um, but you're less likely to be able to kill someone with it. So I don't know if that's a selling point or not. But, it, it might be if you're murderous like Monty is. She should yeah. definitely have the plastic ones. But like yeah, very, very nice products. You can also get the multi-class dice for their dice you can split apart and put together. So if you're playing like, you know, a sorcerer, paladin you can slap dice together if you're playing a wizard rogue you can slap that stuff together it's really really cool and you can Buy find dice. all that and more on dieharddice.com and if you use the code task you can get 10 percent off your order better luck next time diana yeah hey, don't be mean to her she is the yeah. reason why we are still alive yeah we like diana all right and with that bit murdered, um... we need a. While we read off the bits, we need a title as well. Well, we'll probably get some great ones while I'm reading off what, bits. What? I was going like to ask from... if if uh, if anyone else had a, a title idea in the chat. I, I liked from I think, the ashes. I think Gai- yeah, about Gaijin that had from the ashes. Yeah, from yeah. the ashes. From the ashes is really good. The other one I had was Eternal Flame, but from the ashes is I think probably better. There's so much symbolism I mean, in that. I mean, right. I got to name yeah. the, I got to name the episode uh, for the climax of Panic's arc, so it's, it's okay. only yeah. team fair. From the ashes, that's the title. Yeah. We'll go with that. Because there's right. a lot of resurrection going on. There's there sure is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Including for me <laughs> and my big diamond. Uh, Infinite Kitty, thank you for gifting 20... 5? 20? No, 20. Yes. Yeah, twenty tier one sub, uh, tier two subs to the community. Oh my goodness gracious, thanks a lot. Uh, Killer Beef, uh, thank you for the, <laughs> thank you for the gifted sub, Killer Beef. Uh, ATLA Gamer, thank you for the fourteen months. Super Mega Dude Guy, thank you for the five hundred bits. Title: A Wing and a Prayer. Uh, Claymore Roomba, thank you for the. Uh, two months. Claymore Dang. Roomba. I just imagine a claymore on a Roomba. And yeah, I was so thinking like the, the Roomba with the kitchen knife, but instead of the kitchen weapon. knife, it's just yeah. a claymore. That's incredible. Just running it's like around. Hamster the... knife fighting. <laughs> it's the most dangerous thing on the planet. This is this is how they take over. Whoa, Connor, you're getting robotty, boy. Yeah, you're sound really I, weird. I, I bet I am. Excellent. This is this is a great thing that I've been. Oh boy! Oh. Uh-oh. Does anybody else Bo- have? Uh, Bosco, can you do you have the stuff up? Uh yeah. Hi, yabba dabba dabba do. Oh, there okay. you go. He's back. He's back. Yeah. Sorry, I just had to perform some percussive maintenance on my microphone. <laughs> no, that's good. I have it up in case something oh. bad happens, though. Yeah. Um. Fucking uh, Anthony, thank you for the Whoa. one thousand bits. Uh, if you guys win, I just imagine Panic singing, we are the champions. We are the cha- I mean, really, it wasn't really that hard, but, the, uh, but I don't know. Uh, Afro Blade Master, thank you for the 500 bits. This is the fucking hypest shit. Yes. Oh. Uh, Last Kerfuffle, thank you for the 70 bits. River Rat, thank you for the 100 bits. Episode title, Greco's Rising. <laughs> Lore Rider, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, episode title, Feeling the Heat. Ooh. Bell X, ah, thank you for the 13 months. 
Avion fan, thank you for the 536 bits. Title suggestions, Rising from the Ashes, or whatever Gaijin said. Yeah, that's it. That's or, it. No. Yeah, it's from the ashes, but there was Rising. From the Ashes Rising, Revengeance. Uh, Suited thank West. you for the... Thank you for the 12 months. Kane Time, thank you for the 500 bits. Foxley Foe, thank you for the 8 bits. Uh, bless you all with good luck. Fantastic Callum, thank you for the 245 bits. Episode title, Spread Your Wings. Ooh. Viridian Winter, thank you for the 45 bits. Uh, and with that, fuck you, still have any. You lost again. He did, yeah, technically. Uh, yeah. The best thing is he can't do anything about it because he's literally, like, in an interdimensional space tending to wounds. Fuck, fuck off, still have it, you little bitch. Banished to the penal zone. The, the penal More zone? More like, still not have it. <laughs> Ooh, got him. Uh, he, like, went to the penal zone. <sighs> Whoa. Main penal. Uh, That's why he never scored. Uh... Well, he did What's score, her? technically. Oh, God. With with himself, himself, I don't want, we need uh, to move on now. It's time to go. It was yeah, with himself. That's called something different, Mon. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank okay. you for the 11 bits. Uh, we did it, y'all. The Oni are defeated. Greckles has earned his wings. I am shaking, Monty. That was amazing. That, that was, was really fun. Yeah. Volk551, thank you for the bit. Episode title, Lord of Cinder. Uh, Avion fan, thank you for the 245 bits from the ashes. Is an amazing title. Major Kudo, thank you for the 10 months. Blackfoot Fair, thank you for the 9,001 bits. You didn't just save the world, you did it with style. Jesus Christ, Mark. What? Aeon Protect Gaming, thank you for the 100 gifted subs to the community. Wow. Holy shit, Amoli. Sure. How could you, Mark? What? I'm back. I like to give back. I oh. can't believe it. That's a hundred subs to the community. What? Yeah. Yell at Mark. Every, everyone yell Mark. at Mark. Why would you? Mark! Yell? You can't yell at me. I'm doing good things. Oh, Regardless. Fucking watch me, Mark. Mark, Regardless. half of us half of us live near you. Be Don't mindful. you dare come over here and attack me for being I, good. I will fucking stand outside your house and scream. <laughs> well, you do that anyway, Zito. <laughs> and I'm in flanking distance. No! <laughs> uh, but, but, Mark, thank you so much. It's been a blast having you on. And I hope to see you uh, again for next week. I'll be around. Oh, I should yeah. be here next week, for sure. Yeah. Unless Monty's like, so just don't bother coming back. No, but, yeah, right. still, but still, I figured I'd get it out of the way now. Thank you so much for for, for being a part of this. Yeah, it's been fun having, having you around. Infinite Kitty, thank you for the 10 subs to the community. Chris, uh, uh, Saros, thank you for the 500 bits. Well done, crew. Magic Ninja Go, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, so Greckles can now become either a Holy Rogue or a Punchy Rogue. Indeed. Also, Greckles, the, the item you got, the aspect is a mantle, so it's like an armor piece. It's not a weapon. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, done. You're, you're I guess good. The, I guess the closest comparable thing would be like a cloak, but it's like the part you put on top of, you know you know what I mean? Like you put mm -hmm. it on your, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. So I was, I was right. I was going to be a piece of armor. Uh, lovely Lorelei51, thank you for the 500 bits. Thanks for solving the problem you caused, Bosco. What the fuck? <laughs> for real, though. Oh, with 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 uh, with the Vanguard Jade. Uh, <laughs> Ed Stevens, KW, thank you for the 100 bits. Here. Well, thanks. Oh, thank you. Blue Mage X, thank you for the 500 bits. What an, an insane battle. What an amazing finish to Greco's story. Or is it? To be, see, to be seen soon enough. Thank you all for the fun. Monty, you're an amazing DM. Don't let the internet meatheads say otherwise. I'm trying my best. The backstory lives on. It never ends. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's still elements of Greckles' backstory that haven't really come up. Oh my god, it that. never there's, dies! No, no, there's there's elements of all our backstories that are still lingering somewhere. Yeah. So, yeah, oh like, god. did Remy hatch from an <laughs> egg or was he born of man? <laughs> What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, and we don't know. The, the absolute squash match between my mother and my father is currently happening at the moment. Yep. <laughs> she she just hit him with the Destino. Oh my uh, god. 
Um, I think Volk it's pronounced five, five, Hook the uh, leg. Once the, <laughs> hit him with a Despacito. Oh, he hit him with a Despacito. <laughs> this is so depressing. No. Please hit him with a Destino. <laughs> Destino's Volk. pizza roll. <laughs> Folk551, five, five, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, the uh, exact same message as last time. Episode title, Lord of Cinder. Zizzo the Dark Witch, thank you for the 10 bits. Uh, hi, thanks for a fun arc to listen to. E. Lost me the robot, thank you for the 100 bits. Bird Man! Gauze 21, thank you for the 100 bits. Task arc, it's a gauntlet with dragons, have fun. <laughs> Zool the cat, thank you for 1,000 bits. Victory bits! Like Tabuya. One, two, three, thank you for the 100 bits. I won't be able to see Seika send off next week, but Mark, you are an incredible and you are still a part of the Unexpectables family. And I hope this isn't the last we see of you on this channel. Oh, thank Aww. you. Yeah. Yeah. Kane time, thank you for the 500 bits. Looking forward to the Yokai Hunter episode of these four Oni. You better fucking believe that's gonna happen. I was gonna, happen. Gonna, I was gonna ask, when's the when's the when's the Gaijin Goomba culture shock? Oni it's it will be, one? it will be well, I can't do it right out the gate because obvious spoilers. huge spoilers for the yeah. entire yeah. arc. Um, so I think maybe at the earliest late June, uh, but maybe July? Maybe? We'll have to see. Mm. Awesome, dude. You'll, def oh. you'll definitely have to hit up Jack for that one. For yes, sure. I will. Oh, oh you yeah. know, Jack knows. Oh, Jack knows. Iron Einherjar, thank you for the 100 bits. I made it a bit late, but that's what VODs are for. Oh, Captain Dead. Oh, yeah. Thank you for the 1,000 bits. The Onis are defeated. The realms are saved. Everyone united un together under a single banner. Grekos has finally achieved his dream of being able to fly, but the most important thing of all, our boy Seika finally has an entire day of nothing but good rolls. <laughs> Mostly, yeah. Mostly good rolls. Yeah, yeah, that was like crazy for you. You that were was like honestly getting... one of I, the luckiest uh, sessions I've ever had. Pierce. I honestly wondered. I'm like, I swear, this whole campaign, man, Seika's getting bad rolls. Final fight. That he was better, normal. Fi for final, me. final fight. He better be <laughs> landing nat twenties one after another. I, think, to... I got like four, didn't I? You did. Yeah, yeah you got four. Yeah. Twenty redemption more, arc. More nat twenties than yeah. I ever had in any other session. Thankfully, like, you'll never have to roll on roll twenty again. In like over a decade of playing tabletop, I've never rolled four nat twenties in one session. So yeah. You witness Excellent. history. Excellent. Hail Hydro, thank you for the 200 bits. Had me in tears once again. Also, my cat is abusing me with affection. Help. Nah, there's Sorry, no hope for you with that. You know who like, else we should abuse with like affection? Connor, you know who else we should abuse with affection? Who's that? The guy who just hopped in the chat, that R check. The guy you can find at twitch.tv slash that R check yeah. and that R check on Twitter. Yeah. Oh, he does Chai speed paint. Is you so guys, cool. Go get, go get art from him. He does the. Throw money the, at him. He does the funny paint. He does the funny speed paint. Ha ha hoo hoo funny. Um, the friendly Graham. Thank you for the 100 bits. Mark, you're on the list. Uh, um, is that uh -oh. good or bad? You just I made the know. list. No. I don't know. Hopefully good. Uh, I'm scared. Uh oh. Watch out! He's gonna hit you with the Judas effect. Oh. Oh <laughs> no, no. 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 Judas Sam. Arcane Bubba Bob, thank you for the 500 bits. <clears throat> Missed tonight's stream, so I'll catch the VOD later. I hope you all had good rolls, especially you, Mark. Ha-ha. <laughs> <laughs> Huzzah! And there it is. Zen Lita, thank you for the 300 bits. We like this guest star. Can we keep him? We'll feed him and take care of him, we promise. This is the That's problem. That's what you said Whatever. about Bosco. We say it about every single, like, it's. I wish I could keep every guest star. I Believe me, yeah. I wish I did, but... Unfortunately, we can't. I wouldn't wish a 12 party or 12 member party on any DM. No, oh, no. no. As someone I've been who there. ran a 14 I've man been game, there. don't no, don't don't be like me and run a 14 man game over nope. Skype with with uh, with fourth edition. What oh, was I? Why thinking? would you? Why would no. you? No. I was fine what? until you got to fourth edition. Oh my God. The fuck, were you thinking? Oh no no no! I I told everyone I wanted to play 3.5, but they all said no. Four looks easier. You fucking assholes! <laughs> you fools! Wait, let's drop Bosco and bring back Shempai. That's not fair. That's not. Of course you'd want more Shempai. <laughs> that's not even fair. That's messed up. What the fuck? Damn! I can't compete with that. Damn. 
The Priest of Aether, thank you for the 10 months of Prime so much. The day is won, the Oni have been defeated. Now, we party! Now we have another big fight looming now, over now the horizon. Now we party in the Fire Realm. Volk 551, five, thank you for the <sighs> bit. Sorry, didn't see my first message. It's okay. Uh, Laura Ryder, thank you for the 100 bits. Next arc, Remy gets a mask and everyone in the main cast gets no. a talking magic item. No, God. We have enough of those already. Uh, uh, oh, Bosco, it is foretold. No, it's not. Guys, <laughs> it's not happening. It's foretold in the scrolls. Oh, God. <laughs> Lost me the robot, thank you for the 100 bits. So, does this mean Greckles needs a law degree now? Oh, uh, no. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'll don't get it. Mr. Law Greckles? Is that like... I think it's Harvey one? Birdman, right? That's like... Oh, it's Harvey Birdman. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. So who's this Phil Ken Seven? I thought we were oh. talking about Dr. Weird Greckles. Ah! Uh -huh. No. Gangly parts. Dr. Weird Greckles hasn't been seen in these parts in months. Because Wait, he died at RE8, dude. Yo, Shut up, Cedric! Does that make Seika his peanut? Dr. Weird what? Greckles is an install super that has an insane requirement, just like OxyConnor. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Fantastic, Cal. I'm thinking for the 95 bits. Uh, I'm not ready for Seika to leave. Can't we sub him out with Remy? <laughs> you guys are mean. Yeah, just, just, kidding, I, just, just kidding. I love Remy. Uh huh. Love uh, you too. And finally, uh, Art and Salt, thank you for the 100 bits. Become as main character, Bosco. No, that's not <laughs> how it works. Watch Prince Division if you want me to be a main character. Why? You're not a main character in that show either. All right. No, I am. <laughs> we should. We've been going for an extra an hour. We should probably tap out. It's true. Yeah. Uh, oh, boy. Never, have tap out. Never want... give up. Does anybody um, have anybody they want to raid? I, uh, I have I... I have one request. Okay. Okay. So, hey, Mr. Rabbit has been collecting various... Gra okay, never mind. He just went offline. Yeah, he just went off. Well, God uh, damn it. Who did he raid? Oh, wait, no, who no, no. Did... Really quick, really quick. Ask him ask him some time about the Greconomicon. There are so many different variant Greckles in the world now. I just... That's my only plug. All so, right. Uh, there's somebody, uh, there's uh, somebody yes. streaming that I have, we don't normally stream. I have I, one potentially. I have one as well. As well. Okay, what are your guys? One. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, that's actually a good one. That's that's Chase. Mm -hmm. Zito, who's yours? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, mine was going to be Desert P. He's playing Monster Hunter Rise. Okay. We do have. We haven't rated Chase. We could do Desert P another time if you're okay with that, Zito. That's, Chase that's is, fine. That's fine. Okay. Let's raid Chase. What will the raid message be? He's playing Minecraft. We could say, how good are you at multiples of 64? Mining away. Or mine diamonds. Where are diamonds? How do we do where diamonds? Where diamonds. Where diamonds. All right. Where diamonds. Where diamonds. All right. Have a good night, everybody. Someone turns into a diamond when the moon. Bye. 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 Goodbye. Bye, everybody.